When cosplay is taken seriously? Oh yeah, I've seen this one. This guy. Actual Giga Chad. I, I, do, I don't know how. I, I'm not sure. But I want it really badly. What in the world? Seriously. That looks so good. This is the kid that got bullied in school. Yeah, he's a badass now. You know what's up, man. Thank you very much, Bunny. 38 month resub. At this almost a season of Bunny, I suppose. Very nice. I appreciate you. Okay. Excuse me, I'm in a, I'm in a meeting! Wait, is there not? Oh, there's another boss. There's two bosses remaining. Wait, 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 wait. I think there's actually two bosses remaining. Oh no, Spear of the Church? I think this is a PvP boss. Oh no. Oh no. Thank you, dude. So if I'm not mistaken, since I'm playing online, random gamers can join this fight. And the problem is that anybody who still plays Dark Souls 3 in 2023 is likely incredibly good at the game. Yeah, so I think that's another another player right over there. No, not me. Definitely not me. So I don't think they can heal? Yeah, so this guy has all kinds of tricks. Oh, wait, she's back? Oh no. I think I have to kill the player. Yeah. These guys are insane, man. So I have to kill... a random player who signs up for this boss fight. That was an NPC? Wait, I don't understand. I, I'm fairly sure that that guy with the miracles and the bow and arrow and stuff was a player. It wasn't? Wait, what? I don't understand. Isn't that the whole point of this fight when you play online? There was someone there, but they left right away. Why? Interesting. I could have probably beaten that then. I feel like fighting a, a player would be really hard. So... That one respawned right away. I killed this thing, and it respawned really quick. Oh yeah. Wait, so you're saying this is not a player? Then why is he using all these weird things? Dude, he certainly behaves like a player. I guess not. That's definitely an NPC. Okay. See, I know nothing about the PvP of this game at all, but... He deals so much damage, though. I am playing online, yes.
So if you wanted to stream snipe me, <laughs> I'm scared of the other one coming back again, though. Okay, I got another Titanite slap and I got a spear ornament. This was the warm up, guys. That's gotta be one of the absolute worst encounters in the whole game. Especially if you go up against another player, though. Am I wrong? That's such a cheap encounter. Anyways. Like last time? Yeah, I remember playing this last time and I got destroyed. You were ready to stream snipe me, Subtle D? Ah, oh, thank God I made it out before. I could go, yeah, I could play offline, I guess. Oh no, you are gonna kill, yeah. Subtle D would absolutely murder me, man. Is Gil this way? I don't know. <clears throat> Mr. Gil! Hello! We've already seen him, guys. He was sitting at that, uh, that altar. At like 30% of the playthrough. Let's go down D5. Welcome. Hello? Touch the embraced shell. Oh no. No! Lo Loke! Loke! Oh, you- I mean Brenda, sorry, my character's called Brenda. Okay, I ruined it. I ruined it. Don't be mad. I woke you up. I think you've been sleeping for a long time. She doesn't use light mode either, Chet. You were shouting at me for using light mode? Oh god. Um, I think a little bit of time has passed. I'm not sure exactly what just happened. I don't get it, but... Ah, here we are. I think we've just traveled forward in time a little bit. I don't quite understand how or why. But it doesn't really matter. This is a room. The Red Hood is come to eat us. The Red Hood? Our dark soul. Not our dark souls. Guys, he said the name of the game. He said the name of the game. Roll the credits. The Red Hood? I'm a little nervous. This won't be fun. It will be fun for you guys. Anything for you guys, okay?
handedly peddling your dark soul. Nope. It is painting. Nope. I would like to imbue my weapon, sir! Okay. Okay, let's go! Let's fight! Big dick hit. Big dick hit. Oh. I decided to attack him. Rookie mistake. He seems angry. He seems angry. Ow. Oh, no. That was close. I don't know how big this boss room is. It looks huge, but... Oh, he's flying. I feel like you can parry this guy. Maybe not. Ow. I'm just trying to heal. I wanna heal. Okay, he's got a lot of health, guys. There's a bit of a problem. My damage is a bit low? Yeah, yeah. My damage is not great. This is not a boss room loco. Yeah. It's a... Uh, a boss field? Sure, let's go with that. Mr. Gale! In the butt! Sorry, prank. In the butt! Sorry, prank. Oh, no, 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 Loco. When he jumps backwards like that, he also jumps forward again. Could I have... Whoa, 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 whoa! Gale! Gale, chill! I thought I could fin... Uh... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Gale did not have any chill. Gale? Chill? Gale! <whistles> Come on, good boy! Gail, come on! Oh, who's a goop boy? Who's a goop? Oh, there he comes. Nice. 100% damage. Taken. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was really good. <sighs> that was a good attempt. I'm scared of hitting the edge of the map when I keep backpedaling like that. Okay. <clears throat> no, 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 I'm timing the rolls. I'm trying, but the timing is not super obvious. Okay, phase two. No. The blood of the dark soul. He said the name of the game again.
Uh, there's gonna be an ad break in three minutes, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'll die before that point. I'm sorry if some of you missed some of this fight because of that. But I currently can't alt-tab out and stop it from happening because I'm scared. I'm gonna die. Whoa, 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 whoa! The fuck, man? He just appeared behind me! Okay, I'll probably be dead. Let's be real. I'll probably be dead by the time the ad break starts. Yo, I thought I got him down to 50% when his face started, but apparently not. What is this? This is not Bloodborne, mate. This guy's insane. He thinks this is Bloodborne. I don't like your frisbee! Oh, it deals less damage. Thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. Okay, sorry. Here comes the holy frisbee again. Oh, bait! Nice one, Gale. Love that. I don't know how many faces he's got. I know he's got one health bar. But maybe he heals up a little bit. That actually kind of hurts. I wonder if he gets another face. I feel like he's got another face. I think he, f he switches to phase two at like two thirds of his health. And then again at one third. Okay, that was risky. I don't know why I did that. You know what? To learn, I'm gonna pop an ember. Oh God. Popped an ember, all right. Sir, could I maybe take a sip of my Estus flask? Thank you, mate. Ow. I would like another sip of my Estus. You could give me a sec. So after he does that upwards jump, which is usually typical of a jump, he always takes a bit of a, a breather. I can roll into that. It's much easier. Takes like no damage now. Oh, here he comes again. So I'm for jump. Oh shit, I thought it was out of range. It's got it's got more reach than you think. I think I should I should roll into him every time he does one of those upward jump things. Also known as a jump. Unless maybe I want to heal or something. Like when I want to heal and I want to feel like I'm close to something real, then I think I should be rolling backwards. Forward? But. Ooh, okay. I didn't even see his sword. Here he comes again. This one ends with a jump up. And forward. The roll poke with my weapon's good, right? Same for like the run poke? Yeah. Da, da, da. I I don't like your attacks. I'll just roll sideways whenever he does this. Yeah, his frisbees do return towards him. So that's a double. Okay. okay. This guy thinks he's a Tekken character. Ow. Frisbee. Bloodborne attack. Don't know why I think that's a Bloodborne attack. Honestly, this guy kind of reminds me of uh, of some of the Bloodborne bosses, to be honest. He could be go. He, he could go straight into Bloodborne. Ow! 
I'm out of heals. I'm out of heals. Don't want to feel. Yeah, so there is a phase three. Okay. I think this is phase three anyways. So that daddy does it like one third of his HP. No? Oh, I thought he was going for a third strike. Whoa! Okay, yeah, no, I did not expect him to do a double jump hit in the air. It's <sighs> my Slave Knight Gale impression. Doing much better in phase one now. I'll pop an ember when we get to phase two. I think that's a reasonable idea. Still don't know how to do phase two though. I mean, I can very slowly do it. I just don't know how to punish some of his attacks here. So I think indeed it depends on where my character is positioned. If I'm behind him, he does a 360 follow-up. If I'm ahead of him, he does that pullback. And when I'm close to him, he does it, or I'm far away, rather, he doesn't do any follow-up from that attack. So maybe if I'm far away enough, I could roll forward and get damage in. Okay, no, I tried that just now. That was risky. I don't know. I mean, I could also just punish him whenever he does, like, the two attacks that I do know how to counter. It just takes a while. This is one. And I missed. I would like to not fight near these chairs, dude. All these thrones of the Lords of Cinder or whatever. He switches to his third phase at 30% health. Oh, maybe after. If I'm close enough, maybe after is possible. You gotta judge the distance, though. No. Well, maybe it's possible if you have a faster weapon, but my weapon's real slow. Phase three. This is where he gets real aggressive. I don't know what that does. But I think I should not be close to him. Oh, Can I heal? That hurts. So he does a different follow-up to that attack right now in phase three. Ooh, okay. Yeah, he does basically a different follow-up to each of the attacks he's already done, which makes it kind of difficult to read. Oh, he still does the 360. Hit by his cape. That that cloak of his hits at a random timing. Or at least it seems random. I kicked him on accident once, but I think I killed him. I think that's a kill. I did not mean to kick him. Yeah, that was a kill. 
You know the only problem, guys? This this boss room is absolutely enormous, and somewhere out there, there's like 150,000 souls. <laughs> I don't know why I kicked him, man. That was a little rude of me. But <laughs> okay. Well, the hunt for the souls begins. Oh no, did I do it? I think I did it. The greed, I mean, I did get a... I did get a bit greedy there, yeah, because, I mean, I had no chance of fighting him anymore because I don't know how to avoid damage in phase three. Oh, did I do it? I think I did it, guys. Yep, there's the bonfire. Do you think that's where my souls are? Oh, there it is. Okay. He's not crawling towards me right now, so I think that's a win. 120,000 souls. Let's go, guys. Ha, huh, it's a victory. Praise the rolling. I did it. <laughs> man, why can't I just beat him properly, man? The first time on accident, I beat him on the first try. Now I got a double KO. I am not replaying this game for a third time, guys. Maybe at some point I will, but... I don't know. I, I, not anytime soon, at the very least. Oh, I'm very happy I got that. I'm very happy I got that done. Loco, do a soul level one run? Sure. One of the twisted souls steeped in strength. The red-hooded, wandering slave knight Gil sought the blood of the dark soul as pigment for the painted world. But Gil knew he was no champion, that the dark soul would likely ruin him and that he had little hope of a safe return. The repeating crossbow, customized for a repeat fire, was wielded by Slave Knight Gale, used in battles of endless journey. This crossbow is covered with twists and dinks, rusted with blood and made extremely brittle from overuse. I I don't remember what I what I was doing there as it's far random. as kicking a ghost. Let me let me see the clip. Wait, did I was random. When did I kick him? Oh, right here I kick him. Why? <laughs> it actually deals damage. It actually deals a little bit of damage, it seems. Oh, nice. That's very good. Did it do damage? Oh, wait, that's my HP. Hold up right now. I'm looking at my own HP bar. Look, guys, we finished the final boss, okay? That's the most important. Um, I don't need that crossbow. I do not need that crossbow. I'm gonna eat the soul. Am I insane for eating the soul? Gil's sword is really good in PvP. Wait, what? He had a sword? I only saw a crossbow that I could buy. <laughs> that was a second item. Oh. Gil's great sword. Oh, it's a strength weapon, guys. Great sword of the Slave Knight Gil, the only weapon that he kept with him from beginning to end. Okay, I'll buy that. Thank you. The only thing I now still have to do, guys, is the Nameless King. Now, the Nameless King should be much easier, no? The Camera King, yeah. Loco, great work, love the carpet on your back. Thank you, man. It's inspired by royal blood. Nice, right? Okay, let's see. A precarious technique Unique to Undead Gill. Leap in any direction, slamming the greatsword to the ground, then follow with normal attack for a large spinning slash, or strong attack to backstep and jump forward in an overhead slam. I mean, I may as well upgrade it. I don't intend on using it, but, you know. It's a, is it actually a good weapon? Is it actually considered pretty good? I could go New Game Plus, yeah. I don't think I will, but I could. Is it is it any good in PvE? Gil's greatsword. It's fun, but there are better ones. The flip is really good. Damage is decent. I don't know what weapon I should have. I probably don't want to waste my... Uh... Oh, it's actually... It's, it's broken, obviously, at the end. That's fun. Oh, sh That's a cool ability. I can do parkour, man. Does it have anything else? I think that's it, right? This is an anime sword. Oh, that's the follow-up. Oh, that's fun. 
It looks like you at the club? Really? I don't believe it for a second. Okay, so that's one of the follow-ups. And that's another one of the follow-ups. Can I enchant this weapon? No, you can't enchant the weapon, man. That's kind of the problem, like... Faith builds are fun, but like, a lot of the builds also- or a lot of the weapons also seem kind of pointless. I don't know. Maybe my- my faith build sucks. <laughs> I think that's probably the issue, guys. My- my strength faith build is just kind of ass. I don't recommend playing it. Do I have Lorien's Greatsword? I have got 30 points spent in faith. And none of the boss weapons can be upgraded. Like, none of the boss weapons can be... Uh, you can't apply Lightning Blade to boss weapons. My build is interesting. Bro, that's what my art teacher used to tell me. It's like, oh yeah, look, I'm very interesting uh, what you've drawn right here. Uh, it's, that's what he said when, you know, my shit was ugly as hell. A little toxic, but it is what it is. If you could not stab me, sir. Come on, let's be a bro about it. We all know that phase two is the real issue here. With your stupid camera boss in phase one. We should call him uh, the king of the camera. Wait, didn't I never apply Tears of Denial? Oh, okay. I've never seen Dark Souls before. What's happening? Basically, this is a game where I fail repeatedly and Twitch Chat makes fun of me, but at some point, Twitch Chat feels a little bit bad. But usually, after several hours, I do succeed momentarily until I go back to failing on the next fight. And we rinse and repeat that cycle. We're still currently on the Keck W phase, but we're getting to the point where everyone's like, okay, it would actually be kind of nice if he kills him. <laughs> well, most people feel at least a little bit bad, Nelset. It's called empathy. You should look it up. Not everybody has empathy, though. <laughs> you know what we call those people? Twitch chat. That's what we call those people. Or, or a psychopath. No, I mean, uh, no, 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 no. Your therapist says the same thing. You kick W a lot in IRL too. I just want to hit you. Oh, come on, one little poke. What's one little poke? Oh, you're gonna fly up now? That's a bit toxic, I'm not gonna lie. You didn't need to do that. Yeah, I find that fine. kind of mean, I'm not gonna lie. That was... Okay, quick, quick, quick. Ah, shit, I can't do it. No, no, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't switch, shit! This is the weapon we're doing, apparently, now. Okay, let's try and not be an idiot. Operation, don't be an idiot. Engaged. It's a good operation. Nice, good start, good start. Real good start. Love that start. I did hit him though, Chet. That's pretty good. Church is starting. Oh. Sparkle attack. What are we doing with the sparkle attack? Oh, sh Okay, that's what we're doing. Gotcha. Okay, well, that's my Tears of Denial gun. I'll apply it again. LOL! Stepped. He thinks he's Zeus, man. Not nearly as cool. Ow. Oh, hey. What's up, dude? Be a shame if something were to happen to your health bar.
Greed is probably not good, eh? I know some of you disagree, but... There we go. <sighs> alright, 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 alright. Stop messing around. We stopped messing around. We just played the game. No more messing with weapons and trying to apply different buffs to the weapon and all that. No, just... Don't take damage and deal more damage than you take. That's that's generally the rule in this game, man. So what I found after doing basically all the difficult stuff in this game so far is that you win when you reduce the boss's health to zero while maintaining your own health to greater than zero. Preferably one or above. Write that down, chat. This will be important. Yeah, yeah, no, it's taken 50 hours. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. The Nameless King was once a dragon slaying god of war before he sacrificed everything to ally himself with the ancient dragons. The answer is always C. It wasn't a multiple choice question there, man. I, I don't know why you're thinking it was going to be multiple choice. Oh, hey. Call forth furious bolts of lightning. Or I can get the storm curved sword. That was my nickname in call. No, no. Oh, there's also this thing. A sword spear. Yo, these are also kind of cool. A dragon hunting weapon. Oh, that would have been helpful against Madeir. Well then. This is option C, yeah. Which one do we go with, guys? This one requires dexterity. I think if I ever want to continue this character, Lightning Storm is the one. I don't think I ever will continue this character, though. Because we are going to try and wrap up the game. I'm actually going to try and wrap up. I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to try. <sighs> 69,000 souls required for our level right now. That's a lot. The Flameless Shrine. I think this is where we need to go. Isn't it? Actually, I don't know where to go. G gorgeous view ahead, and then may the flames guide thee. I have not been here. I'm assuming this is, uh... Oh, what? That looked like the Boreal Valley. Yeah, it's like a mimic bonfire. I think the only thing left for us is to do the, the final fight of the of the game, guys. Now, normally you fight this boss quite a few hours back, so I think I'm probably quite a few levels higher than you're supposed to be, but I don't think it's gonna be a walkover. Oh, good start. Okay, well, no sparkle weapon. Okay. The soul of Cinder. At least I applied Tears of Denial twice. It definitely stacks. No, it doesn't. You're a wizard? Harry Potter? Is it you? Is this guy also written by J.K. Rowling? If so, there's gonna be some angry messages in his inbox. Kind of hurt me, dude. What's this then? Poison? This guy thinks he's Gale. Whoa, look at him. He made a flip. 
fire? What did you just do, dude? Okay, my weapon's kind of slow here. It's not ideal. I tried getting lucky with the charged up attack. He did the same thing. <laughs> no! Stop it! Don't poke me! Ow! Yo, he's fighting me with a bonfire, Chet. That's... Okay, I'm gonna be running into you now. Yeah, that goes a little better. No need to derp, Loco. I don't know if he's got a second life bar. Do you have a second life bar, sir? I guess he does. I can micro a carrot at the same time. That's good. Could I finish it? Nameless King wanna be over here. Ow. Yo, 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 yo! I'm not a pink poop ball, mate! Oh no. I was gonna say, when is that coming down? Okay, well, um... If you could just start fighting me... Did I micro another carrot? Are we good? guys. A hundred thousand souls for that fight. Yeah, I'm definitely a little over leveled for this battle at this point, right? Link the first flame. Oh, I think this is where you have to make the decision whether or not you end the game one way or another way. I don't understand. Like, if you guys have been paying attention to the storyline, you will understand what the difference is between these two options. Does anybody remember which one I went with last time? There's three options? I have no idea, without watching YouTube videos, what actually is going on in the world of Dark Souls. It is very confusing. It's incredibly sad. Last time I, f I summoned the Firekeeper, the Twitch chat talked me into it. Just because, you know, she's a lady. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened, huh? Yeah. Yeah, no, Twitch shit was- I see how it is. Loco summon her again and then hit her? That's- that's one- Wait, so this is one ending, linking the flame. Summoning her and then waiting is another ending. And summoning her and killing her is another ending? I'm gonna just link the flame. I have never done this before. I'm just gonna link the first flame. I can't kill her, chat. We're not gonna do that. She's been nice. I've been touching the darkness within.
Ah, man, that's it. I didn't think I was gonna actually finish the game today. I'll be honest with you. I have been um, really liking this playthrough. If you've not played Dark Souls 3, this is one of my all time favorite games. It's really good. Genuinely, uh, one of the best games ever made, I think. Um, for me, when it comes to the From Software games, it's a toss up between this one and Bloodborne. I think Bloodborne is equally amazing. But sadly, it still doesn't have like a remake for the, you know, PC or the PlayStation 5 or whatever that actually allows it to run above 30 frames per second. Um, if they ever do a release of Bloodborne, all it really needs is just to run at higher resolutions and higher frame rates. Uh, frame rates. That would be... That would be amazing. But yeah. Um, this is definitely one of the best games ever made. I, I really think so. Bloodborne is the GOAT. Especially with the story. Hmm. Dark Souls 3 or Elden Ring? I've had that question a couple times. I personally much prefer Dark Souls 3 over Elden Ring. My main gripe with Elden Ring is that it's open world. And I know that that is exactly the appeal for lots of people. But like, in this game, oftentimes you're kind of forced into a fight, right? So like, you have to do the fight or you can't continue. Which is, a, I guess, a bit of a downside. But I've experienced in Elden Ring, when you're stuck on a fight for a little bit, you just go to another area, you level up like 20 levels, and then by the time you come back to the boss you were originally stuck on, you just one-shot it. Because you're just so much stronger. It's... Uh, it's... it's... yeah, I don't know. You're not supposed to be stuck on boss fights in, in Elden Ring. Not for very long anyways. Um, and in this game... Yeah, you are. You can kind of do that here too, kind of. But not really though. Says the guy who just one-shot the last boss. I did technically one-shot the last boss, but that's because I did the DLCs first. But yeah, anyways, um, I still highly recommend Elden Ring as well. I think Hel Elden Ring is also one of the very best games you can buy, so... This is, yeah, this is not a very traditional video game. It kind of feels like this game is made for, for the gamers, you know? This, this game is kind of made for the lunatics that enjoy the experience of failing repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's kind of cool though, like When Dark Souls 3 or Dark Souls in general just came out It kind of felt like it was made for like a very niche audience You know, like a small subset of gamers That enjoy, uh, you know, it's like the BDSM of video games, right? It's like <laughs> it, it, It's Not everybody can appreciate Dark Souls, okay? But Elden Ring kind of showed that It's actually an appeal to a mainstream audience too, right? Like Elden Ring did so incredibly well that it's actually really cool. I wouldn't be surprised if loads of people tried at Elden Ring and they were like, yo, I'm gonna try out this Dark Souls stuff as well. So in a way, um, Elden Ring is the gateway drug. This is, in my opinion, the real sh I'm not making my analogy any better, am I? But I think you get what I'm, what I'm saying. I think this game is excellent, highly recommend it. I also think Elden Ring is really fun. You should definitely play that too. Um, I think Bloodborne, also, really stuff, or, or really good stuff. This game is like driving a manual, Elden Ring is driving an automatic. I used to drive a manual, now I drive an automatic though. <laughs> so it is, it is, you know, up to personal debate. Uh, I've never done New Game Plus on any of those games. Begin Journey 2 in the current state. Journey 2 can be initiated from the Shrine Bonfire if you do not wish to begin now. No. I will sit at the bonfire and let Brenda enjoy life. Right over here. Oh, I also want to spend my souls. That would probably be a good idea. But yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think this game is really good. I highly recommend it. Sekiro is not really my personal favorite, mostly because it's all about parrying, and I think that's basically all you need to know. But um, I still think it's an excellent game. Yeah. So, this playthrough was 46 hours long, apparently. I think my first playthrough of this game was like... I don't know. How many episodes are up on More Loco of me playing... Dark Souls 3 for the first time? Quite a few. I think like 70-something. Maybe 80-something. So, I've made progress, right? We've gotten a little bit better. Anyways, highly recommend... Oh, it was 49 episodes on the first playthrough? What? 
Did I do equally bad this time around? I feel like I did much better, no? Ah, yikes. I was having a good moment here. Anyways, I did way worse. Yo, 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 hold up right now. The Cell Sword Twin Blades definitely were a much better weapon. If you've never played this game before, if you want to take it a little easier, I highly recommend the Cell Sword Twin Blades, because this build I came up with myself in this game, I don't recommend it, no. Also, if you're playing on the PC, I had an issue where I was continuously alt-tabbing out of the game, and then my OBS would crash. It turns out if you go to the Microsoft Store, you download the software that is supposed to accompany these, these controllers, and if you then update the firmware of the controller, you can prevent <laughs> the alt-tab problem. I didn't find out about this until like 95% of the way in. But yeah, you you can fix that issue. You play it with mouse and keyboard or no, no, no. Don't play this game with mouse and keyboard, man. No, 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 no. I don't recommend playing this with mouse and keyboard. I know there's going to be some people that do recommend it, but I, I, I don't think you should do that. Anyways, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 3, like a 9.5 out of 10. This game is excellent, highly recommended. Maybe a recency bias though, I don't know. You're a mouse and keyboard player? Your nickname is also not a real human. So, you know, maybe that, uh, maybe there's some correlation there is what I'm saying. Hey, congratulations, Selderick. Selderick passed his driver's license today. He's a real gamer gamer now. Congratulations. Making life gains. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck. I'm not, I was looking at the chat. I was looking at the chat, I am not gonna, I'm just... <laughs> okay, alright, 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 all right. we're gonna, we're gonna do it again. Easy. Okay, I did it guys. I am getting very tired. You might be able to tell. I need to renew my boating license? Yeah, I really do. This boat is amazing as well, man, because it can basically turn around its own axes like that. That's a... That's a power move. Somehow I still... Guys, prepare your eyeballs. Light mode, Reddit, coming up. That's great, Matt. This robot was on Mengsk intercepted private train, this adjutant. With the help of her data, we will prove around the world that Arcturus killed billions on Tarsonas. Uh, Jim, I think it's the other personal... <laughs> okay then. Fine, fine. Take out these void shards. Do you think that maybe he's compensating for something? Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Friday on the subreddit as well, huh? It is Friday on the subreddit, I see. Purposefully dropping games to lower your MMR wastes my limited free time. Yep, Friday. Yep, Friday. Describe- Look at this! Look at- Look at- th It's- It's Friday! On Reddit. Yeah. Describing every caster ability with memes, the Viper. Pocket Sand, you, you're coming with me. Blinding Cloud, I see. And Consume, that's beautiful. Dude, that guy had some forearm games, didn't he? That's amazing. This is, this is what, what has gone on on the subreddit over the last uh, 24 hours. Do you remember this scene from Madagascar? There it is. The units stuffed inside of the medevac. Man, I just drove around for 45 minutes. Can I rent for just a second? I was gonna drop off this package, right? So I have this thing I need to return. So I wrapped it up in the package, I printed the label, stuck it on the box, and I was gonna drop it off at this like drop-off location, right? Turns out the drop-off location no longer exists, and the closest by one is a 20 minute drive. So I drove for 20 minutes to the like, Google Maps location that the UPS website said I needed to go to and it was in the middle of a f neighborhood no store anywhere no drop-off location nothing so I now officially hate UPS don't know what went wrong I literally like I went to their website I like filled in where I was then I clicked on closest by location and it had a link directly to Google Maps so like I didn't I I don't know. I'm not sure. Loka, couldn't you just send your butler? Ah, she doesn't like it what I call her that, dude. But I think Loran's actually gonna try drop it off later, yes. Was no, it's the official UPS website. No, I'm I'm not sure what I did wrong. <laughs> clip it, clip it. 
She'll find it funny, guys. We'll, we'll be okay. We'll be alright. Isn't that half the country? Basically, man. Uh, so, that was the last hour of my life. I have the wrong version of Google Maps. I don't think I have the wrong version of Google Maps, no. Professional streamer can't even drop off a package. I am entirely helpless, guys. If it wasn't for streaming and making videos, what the f*** am I even capable of doing? I don't even know, guys. What what am I? I can't do anything. No, no. Laurent's saving your life once again. No, no, no. I use Google Maps. Google Maps, there's a 2.7 star for the UPS center. That's nice. How can you drive without legs? I do have legs. People can also drive without legs, Trex. Hello. Anyways, what was supposed to be a, a very quick drop off that was going to take two minutes turned out to be 45 minutes of frustration. Honestly, when I tell it like this, it doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but I was very frustrated, man. <laughs> Like, on my drive back home, I was like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. That, that was my, you know, vocalizing uh, how I felt. Um, it, it wasn't, it wasn't great. No, it wasn't the most relaxed drive home, I'll be honest. Yeah, so the worst thing is, right, I filled in the return thing on the website last night. And they had one of two options. Either I could drop it off at, like, a place, or they could pick it up at my home. I was like, eh, they'll probably show up while I'm streaming. I'll just drop it off instead. I should... Uh, they could have just picked it up. This is what happens whenever gamers go outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, I live in a pretty uh, busy city. Um, there's like 150,000 people here. And for some reason, UPS does not have a single location anymore here. Which... I find interesting. I don't really understand. There used to be about a dozen. But no longer the case. Google Maps says there are four, so apparently they all close. Like, I live I live close to one, like, five minutes away from one. Apparently all of them close. That's what the lady in the store said. Like, the lady in the store still does DHL and PostNL, which are, like, two other shipping companies. But they stopped doing UPS, and apparently so did other, all the other locations in the city. I, I don't quite understand what's going on. Either the lady in the store light, which, you know, it could be. Triangulating Loco's location. Right, right, right. DHL is also not ideal. Yeah, no. I got by PostNL a couple a couple weeks ago. They just left a package at my front door overnight, and they didn't let us know, and they like didn't reach out to us. Now I know that that is apparently the standard in in North America, but in the Netherlands that is certainly not allowed. Also, because I I don't have a I don't have a like a yard or whatever. I I don't have like what do you even call it? Like like a driveway? They just put my package. On a public road, which happens to also be where my door is, it's <laughs> it's really strange. They just put it out there on a public road. Anyone could have picked it up. It was there all night. Um, nobody picked it up, so that's kind of nice, but uh, very strange. DHL once left a 300 euro package outside the apartment building, made a photo and said package left at a safe location. Ay ay ay, man. It used to be, right, that there was like one shipping company in the Netherlands. And you would imagine that competition eventually creates one shipping company that does a really good job. But for some reason, that seems to be more complex than I imagine it is. It doesn't really seem that hard in my mind, but I guess there's a lot of things that I am not... I don't know. There has to be, there has to be a delivery. There's this new company actually called Budby or whatever. Budby does some delivery too. I think that's what they're called. I might be getting the name entirely wrong. They have been S tier so far, as far as like shipping companies go. My Amazon delivery driver just dumps all packages for the whole building outside the door. 15 packages in one go. <laughs> what? So you have to become the sorting center yourself, React? They just dump it and you just have to stretch out your own package? That is very strange. Yeah, those delivery companies in general are a little bit funky. I, um, I ordered new pants like half a year ago. Like, new, new, new skillets. They sold, like, a, this was actually with Black Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had, like, it was, like, three different size skillets. And I wanted to replace the ones we had, right? So I placed an order. And two weeks later, it was still not in. And I was like, hey, f they're supposed to come in. So I sent them an email. And they were like, oh, yeah, that's no problem. We'll send you another one. Uh, because they couldn't find the shipment either. And then the next day, I had two packages with pants arrive. Now, I can't figure out if they accidentally shipped the replacement twice. Or if they had the original one arrive on the same day as the replacement one. So I reached out to Amazon customer support and they were like, yep, just keep them both. You can send them back if you want to, but you can also keep them both. I was like, I I have backup skillets right over there behind me in that, in that closet right over there. I, I don't know, man. The shipping companies are... 
they're they're willing to take huge losses, and I guess Amazon in general is, is willing to just do anything for customer support. But it's it's so it's so strange. I don't, I don't quite understand. But anyways, oh that could be lemon. Can we get a a loco signed pan? Get a walk? Where am I gonna What are we gonna do with a walk, chat? I I don't I don't you know have a, a that much food to make. I don't know. You skillet boy, but not a walk boy. I am skillet boy. Yes. Mr. Roger would be very disappointed. Walk is superior. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing, right? I guess for shipping companies, it is oftentimes more expensive to figure out where your package is than it is for them to simply replace it and pretend it lost. I guess that's what it comes down to, which is kind of strange, but you can make you can make fried rice in a skillet too, Chad. I know Mr. Roger will tell me that it's not possible, but you can definitely make some decent fried rice in a skillet, okay? There, I said it. Controversial statement of the day. Fried rice in skillet. Loco, that's literally insane. You lack the wok hay in a skillet. You no, 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 no. If you make fried rice in an air fryer, I'm gonna have to ban you from the channel. I'm sorry. I honestly don't know the difference between a skillet and a pan. No, no, no. I think uh, no, no. We're talking about woks. Making fried rice in a, in an air fryer would be a bad idea, man. Putting rice in an air fryer. I don't know. I'm kind of curious what happens when you put rice in an air fryer. You once made fried rice balls in an air fryer? Fair enough. Anyways, guys, it is that time again. Uh, a terrible moment for the RuneScape community. Log out. I did it. I did it. It's not an addiction. I can stop anytime, chat. You see? I stopped right away. Right away. <sighs> That's my Iron Man. Yeah, I only play my Iron Man now. Iron Man is actually so much fun. If you guys are gonna play RuneScape, I do recommend Iron Man. It's really good. It's a great game mode. I made fried rice in a rice cooker. If I'm super lazy. How can you make fried rice in a rice cooker? I don't understand. Like, <laughs> You gotta have the rice and then you gotta fry it. But it makes no sense if you... Mm. You just... Oh, you just chuck the eggs in the rice cooker? No, I hate everything about that idea. That... That sounds pretty terrible. I'm not gonna lie. You replace the water weight with egg? No. What? You make fried rice by, like, throwing in, like, two eggs and then filling in, like, what? A bunch of... bunch of rice? Like, like, dry rice that still has to be cooked? I've had a rice cooker for exactly half a year, Chet, and I am now a rice cooker elitist. Apparently. How to cook rice in the air fryer. Oh, God. Yeah, but, like, why, though? <laughs> like, look at what you're doing right now. What... <laughs> what... <are> you... <laughs> what are you doing right now? What's going on? Why would you do this? This takes forever. Seriously. Why are we putting oil in there? You need to preheat your air fryer for 25 minutes to make rice? Are you insane? Guys, do yourself a favor. If you have an air fryer, you must also have a pan. No? Am I, am I wrong? Like, you must have a pot, at least. You can probably get a rice cooker. This is gonna take you an hour to make rice. That's insane. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 no, she's saying it has to be preheated. She's using Fahrenheit, though, so maybe that tells us everything we need to know. Foil was removed in the last five minutes. Now I gotta micro my foil, too? Are you insane? <laughs> I thought it would be too early in America for people to catch that one. Okay, sorry, sorry. I apologize. <laughs> wow, she made rice, guys. She did it. It took only about 40 minutes. You could drive to a non-existing UPS center and back in that amount of time. <laughs> I'm still not over that. Metal fork in a non-stick tray? Yeah, that's a bad idea. Oh, still salty, man. What is this? I'm sorry. <laughs> Making rice in, a, in an air fryer. Guys, no, no, no. You're better than that, okay? Rice cookers are actually OP. I got like a small rice cooker. I can do probably like two cups of rice at a time, which isn't a whole lot. But rarely do I have to make more than like two cups of rice at a time. It's pretty great. <laughs> Like, <laughs> we're not guilty for this air fried rice catastrophe. I like the fact that you used the word catastrophe. That's a great word. We should all use the word catastrophe more frequently. That's a great word.
You got a multi cooker that can cook stew and rice. A multi cooker that can cook stew and rice. I'm trying to figure out what the the correlation between stew and rice is. <laughs> it's both food. That's how far I've come. No, I do definitely, all jokes aside, I think rice cookers are nice. If you eat rice more than like once a week, I think a rice cooker is well worth it. Stormgate has ruined my marriage. Oh god, what is this? Today I was driving my kids home from school listening to the radio. They said there was a high chance of rain as clouds were forming. As I listened intently, one of my kids interrupted to let me know how his science project went. Daddy, daddy, my project won the school science fair. I immediately replied, shut the f*** up, Jim, there's a storm coming and hell's coming with it. <laughs> Both my kids immediately went silent until one of them started crying, I couldn't tell which one. I arrived home, went upstairs to my bedroom and closed the door. I started googling, trying to find any news on Stormgate. Something, anything. I asked DuckDuckGo, I asked Bing, I asked ChatGPT. I asked Reddit for f sake, but nothing, not one thing. As I continued my search, I heard a knock on the door. It was my wife. She opened the door with a frown on her face. Jim is crying, Steve. He said you yelled at him and told him to shut up. Why would you do that? But I continued on my search. I was too focused on getting any information I could. Are you listening to me, Steve? Steve! Several minutes had passed and then it finally happened. I had found it. I have it. Command. Repeat. I have it. Mission accomplished. The f are you talking about? In one of the Stormgate developer interviews, one of the senior lead designers made the beginner mistake of wearing glasses. As he gazed onto the screen, I took a screenshot of his glasses, which had reflection of the screen. I then hopped over to Notepad++ and enhanced the screenshot using advanced techniques of linear regression and neural diffusion. The final result was more beautiful than anything I could have imagined. <laughs> I was overjoyed. In the meanwhile, my wife scoured around the room and found a huge stack of papers and folders. What are these, Steve? Game design, the suggestions, and concept art. She picked up one of the folders and opened it. The correlation of macro and low player population RTS by Steve Dickens. 791 pages. Oh my god, Steve. 791 pages. You wrote 791 pages on this? This will make the game the best it can be, Jessica. I know it will. I know. But look at all these graphs, Steve. These skills are inconsistent. You included no methodology on this. Your access labels are all over the place, and you listed your data sources as... Trust me. You wouldn't understand, Jessica. And these concept art, Steve? <laughs> Stop it, Jessica. They look like they were drawn in paint. Just look at one of these. The submarine, really? A marine that transforms into a submarine? Leave. Fine. I'm taking the kids with me. Hell, it's about time. She closed the door and left. She actually left. Now I'm here, sitting in the corner of my room all alone. Feels like the times when I was a teenager and I would lock myself in my room and all my concern in the world was getting better at StarCraft. It feels like... It feels like old times already. <laughs> This is so dumb. I love it. Great, great content. Someone put in some effort. Yeah. Steve, Steve did the right thing, guys. Prioritizing video games over family. I was just reading up on this chess article. So apparently the world championships of chess is currently ongoing. And there's two players that are competing for the title, right? Now, I don't know much about chess. I just kind of follow it from a very far away distance. But the name that was missing in this article is Mr. Carlson, right? Who has been trashing everybody and who has, well, probably grown into like the best chess player ever. As far as I know, at the very least, as far as rating goes, the guy is insane. So it turns out Carlson, the reigning champion and arguably the greatest chess player of all time, decided to abdicate the title because he was not motivated to play another championships match. <laughs> what the f***? I've spoken to people in my team, the conclusion is very simple, I'm not motivated to play another match. I don't have a lot to gain, I don't particularly like it, and although I'm sure a match would be interesting for historical reasons, I don't have any inclination to play and I will simply not play the match. <laughs> so even if these guys win, right, one of these guys is gonna be the chess world champion, there's gonna be a little asterisk right next to it, man. That sucks for them as well. Like, they technically have the title, but... He's so used to winning, it's boring now? Actually, wild though, that's crazy. Anyways, Magnus Carlsen, apparently the Giga Chad. Kind of amazing. The World Championship match will consist of 14 classical games. Yeah, I've seen some articles as well talking, uh, or Carlsen talking about not really enjoying the classical format. The first person who is the first to score seven and a half points will be declared the world champion. If the score is equal after 14 games, tiebreaker games will be played for faster time control. Rapid and Blitz. That is funny to me, man. The total prize money for the championship match is $2 million, or Euro even. 
the amount will be split 60-40 between the winner and the runner-up. If the match goes to a tie break, the amount will be split 55-45. My god, may as well just 50-50 it. <laughs> like, StarCraft 2 is too top-heavy in my opinion, although it's gotten a lot better over the last few years. 55-45 for the number one and two. That, uh, okay. Yeah, apparently one million more or less is not a big deal for Carlson. Fair enough. What a chat. Actually, kind of. That's kind of badass, man. I don't think a lot of people consider chess to be a very badass game. But Carlson apparently uh, a bit of a chat. That is that is pretty funny. Yeah, I don't want to play. Yeah, whatever. I got more money I can spend anyways. What the f***? Who cares? Historical record is maybe fun, but that's really about it. <laughs> that's so funny. You need a bright light warning before Loco opens Reddit? Bunny, you want to hear something amazing? Besides light mode, right? I installed this extension that opens up a white page. Rather than being bombardment, bombarded with pages I should go to, I got this page. I also put the Bing button back. I actually kind of like the Bing button. The Bing button's actually kind of good. Ask me anything. Hello, give me a winning build order for the Zerg versus Zerg matchup to make sure that I can remain in Grand Master League MMR. Apparently they've got built-in chat GPT. Are you gonna... Okay, yeah, 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 here we go. Give me something. In Zerk vs Zerk, there is a chance to take, okay. One of the most common builds is 9 pool, 12 hatch, 12 pool, over pool, 9 pool. <laughs> That's a lot of pools, man. I, uh, I don't know, I, I don't think, I don't think that's accurate. Here's a video that shows you how to win easy. No! <laughs> Here's a video that shows you an easy Zerg build order. That's fantastic. It just linked me my own video. <laughs> it's a bit of an older video, yeah. A little bit of a tighter shirt as well. Very nice. What do you think, um, what, 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 I should ask him something. Who is that loco guy? I, I, I clearly, I clearly need an ego boost, chat. This was not planned, no, 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 no. You think my streams are scripted? True. A self ad? There it is, man. He's best known for his YouTube channel. He's just reading Liquipedia. Yeah, that's what it says on my Liquipedia page. What other games does Loco play? So I think they've just built in ChatGPT, which is kind of funny. Scripted. Scripted stream confirmed. It's a wrapper to a free version of ChatGPT4. Sometimes it's good. Right. I couldn't find any information about other games he plays. I got roasted. Well, other games I'm gonna play today, I'm gonna do some Stardew Valley, I think, and probably also some Dredge. So that's the plan. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so f stupid. And dangerous. Why would you do that? This is why, uh, yeah, I agree, man. They should ban TikTok. Yeah, for sure, dude. Do you think somebody like this faces any sort of repercussions for posting this on social media? Because that's just genuinely a bad idea. No, hey. <laughs> it's just so stupid. He replaced his wheel with a CD. You don't think so? This is clearly a public road, no? There's literally a stop sign. <laughs> it's right there. You know that sign you always ignore? It's right there. Is there a law about steering wheels? Of course there's laws about steering wheels. I would hope so anyways. I don't know the laws of steering wheels for, for what it's worth, but of course there is. In the Netherlands at least you can't modify your car and just do whatever you like. But I've seen those, um, I've seen those, was it, slash r slash car mods? I've seen some mods that, that people drive around with. I don't know how that would work in the Netherlands, but those like very high lifted pickup trucks and stuff? Like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe you can do that in the States? Oh my god. See, there's gotta be, I don't know the law, chat. But there's gotta, there has to be, there, this is... <sighs> This is an Amish Tesla, <laughs> an Amish Model 3. How did I get into the car? They can't open the door. This is, I don't think this is real. No, I don't think this is real. Oh my God. See, there's this. <laughs> don't get me wrong, it's pretty great, but 
I don't know when something goes from legal to illegal, man. I don't know how it works. But this this is prob this is not allowed in the Netherlands. I'm fairly sure of it. Maybe there are places where you can can do this. Is this this is allowed in the US? There are n uh, there's no way. Car mod laws Netherlands. Let's see. So in the Netherlands we have a thing called APK, which is a periodic motor vehicle test. There you go. And your car has to pass a certain set of if you have built your own vehicle or if you've made major modifications to an existing vehicle for instance to the engine or the brake system what about replacing your bumper with a <laughs> you okay it has to be approved this also applies to vehicles that have not been previously registered in Europe loco it's real it says the underside of the car for things like the oil pan it doesn't have an oil pan we could probably get to the crankshaft. Oh no. Easy to steer. <laughs> <laughs> it's rolling. What is going on right now? What are we what is happening here? Why is there a f Is this what rich people do? <laughs> well, you can definitely do it on your own. Yeah, you can modify your, your car in the Netherlands on your own, you know, terrain, right? Like if you it looks like that car is just floating. <laughs> God. Our gate always gets hit. I really hope we don't plow through it. Did you feel that? Was there a gate there? But now he's on a public road, no? Like, there's another car. What a great subreddit. I love this subreddit. <laughs> Wait, the owner did this to his own car? Oh, well, that's a little pathetic. It goes faster, chat. It goes faster when you have a... Uh, but it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> God. This is so stupid. What is going on on some of these? <laughs> I had to borrow my daughter's car today because of reasons. I'm a chief petty officer in the United States Navy. I'm turning 50 later this year. That is great. That is that is that is a humbling experience right there. That's amazing. That is kind of cute. Yeah, you know what? That that is pretty fun. <laughs> I remember my sister used to have one of these around her steering wheel when she got a car when she was... It was a long time ago. I never understood it. I'll be honest with you. I never understood having, like, a thingy around your steering wheel. It doesn't seem like a great idea. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's not my favorite. You get sweaty hands? That's what it's for? For sweaty hands? It's for grip? There's no way that a normal, like, like a leather or, or whatever material they use on the steering wheel has less grip than that fuzzy thing. There's no way. <laughs> it's definitely just for the look. The steering wheel can be cold, that's true. Yeah, yeah, fair. <laughs> Florida. Is this your car, Rumpus? Florida never stops giving. I love Florida. I don't see a lot of Florida on the internet lately, but this this is amazing. That's so fun though. That's actually fun. I don't know like I don't know So if you were to modify your car right in the States You can just take it on the road and nobody's gonna like complain there has to be a limit no Like it's at, at some point somebody has to be like yo, that's a bad idea I don't understand not in Florida in Florida. You can just do whatever you can do whatever you want really yeah But at some point it's not so much a danger to the guy that does the modifications But to other people around him, right? What about insurance? How do you how do you how is this possibly covered by insurance? If you modify your own I don't I don't understand. No one cares? It's just not? <laughs> That's the neat trick. <laughs> it's just okay. There are rules and standards in the EU, but not in the in the States. I I doubt that. I feel like there is I feel like there is a set of rules that they have to comply with for sure. Maybe it's maybe it's less tricked. That that seems that seems reasonable, but Interesting. You handle auto accident claims in Florida specifically? Oh, really? Dude, I love that about the internet. 
I have the most random specific question ever, and there's somebody in the chat. Yep, that's what I do for a living. <laughs> that's fantastic. I'm not sure to what extent you can modify anything here. Most of us are engineers, Loco. Yeah, there's a lot of engineers in the chat. Nerds. People that actually contribute to society. Nerds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can't believe it. Actually having a good job. Nerds. <laughs> actually making smart life decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Cringe. What do you mean, good job, Loco? I'm gonna gamble again, man. Team green, team green. Green every time. Come on! Oh! Team green, let's go, baby! Okay, double or nothing, double or nothing. I wanna double up twice. Benny is watching, chat. Everybody act cool. Double up? Double up? No, 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 no. We gotta buy the shit first. <sighs> Loco's bad at this? Yo, 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 yo. You wouldn't say that to my face now, would you? Uh, a rare crow. Yes. Um, the fruit is 2,000? What does the fruit do? A mysterious fruit that empowers these who eat it? Oh! I need, uh, I need about 3,000. We just need to win three times in a row. Team Green, baby, let's go! Come on, team green, team green, team green. Dude, team green, 100% of the time, when it lands on green. Team green! I lost everything. Benny looks so disappointed in me. We're gonna do two rounds of fishing. Two rounds of fishing. Then straight into gambling. This is why you don't take a credit card to a casino, chat. The fair in Stardew Valley teaches you everything you need to know about life. Come on. You only have a debit card? Also dangerous to take into a casino. Don't do it. You haven't seen a casino with a fishing pond, though? True. To be fair, I haven't been to a lot of casinos. I'm not really a casino kind of guy. Okay. 312. I just need to win three times. Loco, if you bet half, you protect against the loss. That's true, but that's also uh, low testosterone. So I need to go very high testosterone over here. Very toxic masculinity is what I'm betting here. <laughs> this is what we're doing until I get 2000 at least. Toxic masculinity strikes again, man. First I'm recommending Hogwarts Legacy, now this. I'm going straight to hell. And that the day before Easter. Okay, I have 408. Um... Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, easy, easy win, easy win, easy win. Okay, um, I want to gamble enough so I can end up at a thousand. So how many do we have to get? 184? Did I do math correct? I hope so. And then we double it or nothing. Should have, should have done more, man. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Now for the big one. This game might be rigged, man. This game might be rigged. Yes! I did it! Okay, okay, good. Easy. Easy. I did not yet get my, um... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get my, my win over here, man. Yes, I'll get the star drop. Is there anything else I should get? There we go. Huge. Huge. Your mind is filled with the thoughts of Skytos. Your maximum energy level has increased. That makes sense. Very nice. I don't need the fedora. I don't need the dried sunflower. I don't need the rug. We're done. 
Luckily, you're on a streak. Why stop? <laughs> That's such bad advice. I love that. Yo, is this a... What is this? A strength game? Are you strong like me? Smash stone? Easy game. Have a star token? You gave me one? Are you insane? Nice day for fishing, ain't it? <laughs> soggy newspaper. Super exciting. If everybody, anybody wants a soggy newspaper, I've got it right here. You can have it for free. If anybody wants a Joja Cola, you can have it for free. You're currently drinking cola. It's 3.30 a.m. Oof. 3.30 is not the best time to be drinking Coke, I don't think. At least the, the caffeinated one is probably not ideal. You had cola with Easter pizza? Did you... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Bunny shared a picture yesterday. Was that a real picture, Bunny? From Subway? It looked absolutely filthy. You did buy that? For real? I gotta show you guys this. Yeah, yeah, I understand that the Easter and the Subway thing are different. I, I get that. But this was an actual thing that Subway sold? Because it kind of looked fake. Both were real? Oh my god. Okay, let me... Let me get the picture real quick. Oh my, it looks so nasty, man. Okay, so supposedly this is something. They gave, oh, they gave it away. They gave away 4,000 of them at Subway yesterday in the UK. So these are Cadbury cream eggs on a sub. They gave away 4,000 of them. It looks so filthy, man. It looks so gross, but it'll probably taste nice. Because, you know, it's kind of like Nutella, I guess. It'll taste, it'll, you know, it'll taste fine. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen this really trending on social media, though. It does sound like, you know, a pretty good social media action, right? Like, somebody at, at Subway definitely put some effort in it, and they were ready to go worldwide. But, yeah, I guess it didn't work out. It looks terrible, but when you think about it, Nutella, like, it's literally just chocolate on bread, right? And very expensive chocolate at that, too. So it's... No, 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 no. It's... So the Cadbury eggs, I think they're... They're like chocolate eggs, right? That you buy for, for Easter. I think I've had one. Yeah, they're like chocolate with fondant filling. I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not actual eggs that are coated in chocolate. That would be... That would be nasty. Nutella is dirt cheap in Germany? Is it really? I have no idea how much Nutella costs over here. I'm not a Nutella kind of guy, but... 750 grams of Nutella for 2 euro 19? What? How much? I feel like that's really cheap. Nutella. Albert Heijn. Let's go to the Dutch. It's on discount right now, apparently. The six... I guess this would be the closest one that's... This is 825 grams. 629. So this would be about 2 euro 30 in Germany? Interesting. You guys are like right next door. Yeah, that's about 9 Australian. Yeah. Interesting. So it's really cheap in Germany? Is Nutella from Germany? I guess that's the only thing that makes sense. You once made a New Year's resolution to eat more Nutella. Everybody's hyped. Everybody's excited. My New Year's resolution is to drink more water. And mine is to quit alcohol. And mine's to start exercising more. Mine's to eat Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I like the priorities. <laughs> Shoulder pads to challenge Valerian. My God. What a beautiful picture. Best cheese dishes in the world. Ooh, let's have a look, guys. Raclette. Raclette in Switzerland. Because there's not really a whole lot of good players from Switzerland, a raclette is F tier. As far as, you know, StarCraft cheese goes, okay? It is what it is, guys. I don't even recognize the second flag. So, I don't know. Where's the, where's the Netherlands? Mozzarella sticks. Wow, guys. Your best cheese dish. Oh, that's Greece Loco? Oh, okay. I, I find this I, cheese fr you wait the US is in here twice. Wait, what? Why is the States in this list three times? That is some bullshit over here, man cheese curds Mozzarella sticks and cheese fries. That's not even cheese. That's that's two dishes France is in there like six times. Oh, sh okay Tarty flat Fondue Savoyard Vondu. Eurasien? Cheese curds. <laughs> I love cheese curds in that list. 
That's amazing. I just learned I know nothing about cheese. What the f- Gabe, what's this? Mama Liguta Subranzasius Mantanta Tatana. It's a disaster, that's what it is. Where's the Netherlands? Does the Netherlands not get any- Yo, we are known for our cheese. This whole list is bullshit, guys. Not a single Dutch- Like, we don't make any food, okay? The only thing Dutch cuisine is, is... Well, stealing dishes from other countries. That- that's really all it is. If there's one thing though, I feel like the Netherlands is half decent at, it's making cheese. Yeah, no, I don't believe this list. Also, poutine, 28th. Yet Good cheese curds are 13. I don't. Snack, I don't. Snack, I, snack, I, I, snack, I, snack, snack. Horrible guide. Horrible guide. These lists are always crap. That's the top comment. There it is. That's all we need to see. No cannon rush on the list either. I don't like it. Hey, thank you very much, Andy, for the 79 months. Hope the states are uh, treating you well. Artosis turned into a weeb. What happened, guys? What did you all do? Oh no, what is going on here? Is this what it takes to get back up to 2,000 subscribers? Is that what it takes? My waifu laifu? Oh god. That wallpaper- no no no, that background is real, guys. That's for sure, look. The zerklings are in the- in the box. The zerklings are in the box. They're ready to be thrown out. All the regular shit is uh, in these trash bags right over there. Everything's taken over by, uh... The weebs? You love to see it. Typical Terran player behavior. Yeah. Typical. 3D printed Nova, 1 to 12 scale? How do we know how big Nova is? Is there, uh... Hmm... Seldorik is currently working on his thesis, guys. So we gotta get this off the screen. He's gonna lose his mind. Seldorik, no! I don't know if he's here, but no! Seldorik, stop! Scarier things you can hear in this game, or scariest thing, rather. Your forces are under attack. Nuclear launch detected. I would say the Night is Worm Scream is probably more scary than the nuclear launch detected. Like, nuclear launch detected doesn't really come out that early, right? I mean, it shouldn't. If it does come out early, it doesn't do any damage. Receptionist at a busy pharmacy in India? Damn. We keep Look at that APM. Stop. Oh my god. One month to the six years. That guy's a Terran. Whoa, whoa, what the f- There's no way this guy doesn't make mistakes, okay? Like, the reason why StarCraft players play fast is because they need to get a lot of stuff done, right? Accuracy is not necessarily as important. This guy might accidentally add an extra zero to your receipt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sucks, man. Too bad. Too too bad. Yeah, now you're paying double. Look, like he's saying, hey, theory. Hey, theory. Am I saying that weird? Theory? I don't know. I activated your Siri by saying, hey, theory? Oh my god, it works for me too. What the f Hey, theory. Hey, theory. What the f Yo! Apple's making fun of the non-native English speakers. Confirmed! How am I supposed to say that word? Hold up. Google Translate. English, English can get it done. English can get it done for sure. Uh, theory. 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 I don't think I'm mispronouncing the word. No. Yeah, it's probably an accessibility feature. Thank you, Nolan. Coming in for the rescue. I appreciate that, Nolan. I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it's true, but I do appreciate it. Then again, though, Siri doesn't really do anything useful anyways. What do you guys use Siri for? Hey, Siri, play some calming music. <laughs> did that work? For those of you that are on speakers, did that work? That didn't work? Toxic, man. Brian wasn't loud enough? I think my Siri is tuned to my voice only. Oh yeah, your voice is so special. All right, I see how it is. Siri is how Apple spies on you? Mate, my entire life is basically digital. They don't have to do a lot of spying. It's basically public. Yeah, I use Siri for timers mostly. Yeah, that's what I do. 
Usually whenever I'm cooking pasta or something. You use Siri for converting units to freedom units? Ooh. Yeah, no, I don't really use freedom units very much. I just speak fluent Imperial. That's what I do. Sea Shanty 2 and Trombone Champ on drums? Guys, drums are not trombones. <laughs> Wait, so who's playing who's playing the who's playing the trombone? I don't get it. <laughs> is this is this like a, an AI playing the trombone? I guess so. It's a YouTube video. Oh. So I'm watching a YouTube video of someone watching a YouTube video playing drums to a video on YouTube while you guys are watching me. Watching him, watching that. I've really maxed out my Twitch stat right now. This is this is the ultimate, the ultimate stream. If you guys could clip this and then post it on YouTube, we would be... We must go deeper, man. We need extra layers. <laughs> Who owns this content? Nobody knows. Is it me? Is it the guy in the drum kit? Is it uh, Trombone Champ? Is it RuneScape? Is it Twitch? Is it YouTube? Is it the guy who makes the clip? Is it the guy who uploads it to YouTube? What if you then post it to Reddit? Is it chat? No. No, it's not chat. I think that's one thing we can all be sure about. It is... No, 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 chat. That's the only one that we are certain of. Will Facebook have a second golden age in the next two to three years? No. <laughs> no, it won't. No, no. The Zuck would really like that, but uh, no, he won't. No, no, I don't think so. I see no reason why people would go back to Facebook. Um, Mr. Zuckerberg seems to be putting all of his eggs in the, uh, virtual reality basket. And he may very well be right, but that still seems to be a good couple years away. It's satisfying seeing their metaverse fail? It failed? No, I don't think it failed. I just don't think it's ready yet. The hardware that they've been shipping is actually really impressive, man. I'm actually, like, it's, it's genuinely not bad at all. Whatever it's called. I don't know what the most recent uh, version of it is. Like, the software is kind of lacking, and in general, it's just kind of pointless to get right now, but... They've been developing some cool sh Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, this, this was something. Facebook launched VR remote work app. Yeah, no, this, uh, this, this ain't it. Mark's eyeliner is looking particularly good in this video. Um, you know, people can can stop in and, and collaborate quickly, but it's it's really great for kind of focused work, um, and that will get better over time. The second area is around. But like, this is early. This is early stage metaverse, though. Like, this is this is worse graphics than the Wii had in like 2004 or whatever. But I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it takes off at some point. Why not just have a Zoom call? Because obviously this is a lot, a lot different. But yeah, maybe at some point it'll be, uh... Imagine the avatar Gabe would choose. Oh yeah, that's true. If we had a meeting with all the guys in the chat, half of the people in the meeting would be anime girls. Oh, that is true, man. That actually sounds kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, no, that actually sounds pretty good. It seems like they're in perpetual beta mode. I'm fairly sure they don't plan on properly launching this until like 2030 or something. I'm fairly sure they're just pouring in billion after billion after billion and then at some point it's gonna be good. I think I think it'll actually be pretty good, but it's it's definitely not ready yet, no. I will be low woco. <laughs> they don't plan on launching it at all. Well, obviously they plan on launching it at some point. I don't know. People always meme a little bit about Zuckerberg and that's because, you know, he's very memeable. <laughs> Because he likes smoking meats. But I, I actually think I actually think the guy uh, doesn't get as much credit as he probably deserves. He's, he's very easy. He's very easy to make fun of. He loves smoking meats, man. What's going on? My alter ego about to live large in the metaverse. Everybody. So See, this shit's cool. Like, if it looked like this, right? If, if what Meta's been working on right now, if it looked like this. Which is not unrealistic. I think suddenly a lot more people would think it's... Yeah, this obviously is pre-processed, but but still, like... Uh, yeah, if it looked like this, I'd get motion sickness. Right. 
<laughs> Anyways. I, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I actually think it's kind of cool that there's a company out there that's spending way too much money on stupid technology that doesn't serve anybody. Maybe at some point it'll serve somebody, though. What is this, guys? $3,500? Are you insane? Who's out there buying $3,500 perfume? What is this? I mean, the regular one is like 100 bucks, which is... I, I feel like the markups in, in, in uh, any, any sort of scent-based business must be ridiculous, okay? I'm 100% I'm sure that the glass bottle they keep this in is more expensive than the actual stuff itself. This limited edition is $3,500. It's 7.6 fluid ounces. I don't really know exactly how much that is. How much is the big one? 14 and a half thousand. Are you insane? It's limited, Loco? Yeah, it's limited because they decided it's limited. <laughs> like, they could make more. <laughs> It's not like, you know, it, <laughs> it's anything special. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, no. That seems like a bad investment, man. But maybe, maybe it's kind of like, yeah, maybe it's like those fancy bottles of wine or, or like whiskey or watches or whatever where like people buy that, not actually to use it. Is that a thing with, with like high-end perfumes, like bags and stuff? People do that with bags? It might be that. I don't quite understand that, but maybe that's what people do. Buying a watch is much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, people do that with watches all the time, dude. There's slash R slash var or farms of Stardew Valley. Okay, let's do highest rated all time. We can be inspired, chat. <clears throat> My god, that's way prettier than I will ever have. Dude, this is one of you guys, isn't it? There's a couple of Haley fans in the stream. Come on, guys. Come on, dude. No simping, chat. Stop it. Stop it. No. Loco's getting jealous? No, 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 no. Whatever the opposite of jealous is. <laughs> A pond for every fish? <laughs> I decorated the entire valley? Oh, you can do that? Oh, that's sick. Versailles? This guy is built for Versailles? <laughs> that's funny. A corn maze? That's a maze. -ing. Yo, now I want this farm, guys. We're gonna have to restart. I want this. <laughs> Is there anybody that plays the hilltop farm? Because I don't see the hilltop farm any- Oh my god, are you kidding me? Stop it! Stop it, guys! It's embarrassing. You're embarrassing yourself right now. Well, all these Haley simps on Reddit. See, this, this is how some of you would like me to build the farm, right? This Excel spreadsheet looking thing, where everything is optimized, perfectly cornered off, with little sections in between to separate the bits, right? I understand it, but I don't like it. I, I don't, I am not a fan. I don't like this, but I understand a lot of people do like this. It's a German farm, <laughs> you like the German farm? <laughs> <laughs> See how efficient. See how good. How my girl, yeah. I love the farm. Milo actually had a little bit of a moment yesterday. Apparently, he did not recognize Toby. Laurent took a video of this. Let me see if I can find it. Where is it? Yeah, so apparently, they were both outside. Backyard reveal. Are you ready for a backyard reveal chat? It's a very exciting backyard, okay? So Toby was like close to the door and Milo was outside and he saw a cat close to the front door. And I guess he didn't recognize that it was Toby. I'm not exactly sure. Toby's like, yo, bro. Bro, it's me. <laughs> we live together, man. Look. <laughs> bro, bro, it's me. Oh, what the f <laughs> It's you. Very strange. He just, I don't know, he just didn't recognize his brother for a second. <laughs> Must be kind of intimidating though, man. Like, imagine you're a little animal and this thing... He, he, you know, puffs himself up as big as he can, right? He's already a large cat. This, this kind of terrifying. But yeah, um... <laughs> I like how cautiously Toby's like, yo... <laughs> bro, bro, it's me. <laughs> Who the f are you? Why are you in my backyard? What the f man? Get away. Oh, it's you. Wait, hold up. Cats are a little funny sometimes. 
God, I saw this one, man. This is so funny. Turn the servers off. You fell asleep with the Artosis stream on. This fucking game's been out for 25 years, and Protoss players have been playing like this for 25 fucking years. Turn the servers off. Turn the servers off. It's fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb. I love that. It's so good. Marines, if they were a good unit. What is this, man? This is a good meme disguised as balanced wine. Or I guess balanced wine disguised as a good meme might be a, way to, a better way to put it. In what world are Marines not a good unit, guys? I would say there are like three S tier units in StarCraft 2. Marines are one of them. Yeah, Marines are two of them. <laughs> the Zera Tool convenience store? It's a two minute video. Templar. Terran. It will be done. What? Appreciate it. What am I looking at? Somebody made a store in Brood War? Your orders, Templar. Brave sons of ire. You beg us to aid you? You are right, of course. Very well, Judicator. Someone had a lot of free time, man. My favorite part is that this is probably like a 38-year-old man that spent his entire Easter holiday getting this done. That's amazing. Look, I'll be taking a trip to Europe and you'll be visiting the Netherlands. What is there to do? I don't know, dude. No idea. What do people do when they visit the Netherlands? Well, first and foremost, obviously, visit our beautiful nature. There is nothing more breathtaking than the Dutch countryside, in particular the mountains. That is... That's got to be on the top of your list. Uh, riding bicycles in the mountains, highly recommended, yeah. I see those great memes every once in a while. Is it on TikTok? <laughs> it is on TikTok. When people say the Netherlands is ugly, it's just these, all these videos for no apparent reason whatsoever with like the most breathtaking sights, right? And then they, they have this as the tag. There's, there's dozens of them and I've come across them every once in a while, which really cracks me up. They have all these national parks all around the world, but it's most definitely, whatever you see, it is 100% not in the Netherlands. No, the Netherlands does not have nature like that. We don't even have mountains. But they are great memes. I do like that, yeah. State sponsored? No, 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 no. Definitely not. When people say the Netherlands is ugly. The Netherlands is beautiful. Let me see if I can find any. Luckily, you don't even have hills. This is true. I mean, the Netherlands does have a little bit of nature. Yeah, there is a little bit of it. If, if, you, can, if you can catch things at the right time, or you, you know, like, yeah, there's some, there's some, this looks pretty cool, right? But this will look pretty cool, specifically while the tulips are, you know, flowering. And then also when it's like very early in the morning for like 20 minutes. I don't know, man. Also, this looks very edited. For some reason, this doesn't look right. There's, uh, these flowers are very fake. Yeah, this is the Keukenhof. I've never been. This is all fake, man. Look at these butterflies here. That's not how butterflies move. Look at these butterflies. <laughs> There's no way. That's all fake. They try really hard in some of these videos to make the Netherlands look good, but yeah, they look like they glow. Maybe the Netherlands is CGI, man. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, do you really believe that most of the country is below sea level? That makes no sense. Yeah, we do have a lot of this. This, this would be, I believe they, they bloom in, in August. This, this is quite common, where, where I live anyways. Shiny lives in Hilversum? Yeah, so that's pretty close by. This is pretty common. No, it's not lavender. It's hay. I don't know what the du or English word for hay is. Heath? That's it. Shropland habitat. Heather? Okay. Well, anyways. I'm playing against Skytals with a spring in my step. I haven't gotten destroyed by Skytals in a long time, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. My mental health can deteriorate very quickly. This ain't gonna go well. 
No, it's gonna go real well. I mean, I should be able to easily fight this. He can't have much. He's on three base. Copium? No. I can even bring the spores to the party. There's no way, right? If he's on three bases, what in the world is he gonna do? Surely he can't win the game with three base protals against the might of the swarm. Here, look. He even gives a couple of depths right now. Maybe a peace offering or something. Whoa, where did he come from? Suddenly there's a million units! I do not appreciate that. Oh shit. Wasn't paying attention there at all. Uh, he's getting a fourth base now, guys. Which makes me a bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. Those are some big juicy storms. Oh, he doesn't have a fourth. Okay. Well, if he doesn't have a fourth life, it's okay. It's all a bit messy, isn't it? But, uh... Maybe a Spire wouldn't have been that bad of an idea, guys. Oh, I got it! <laughs> After it killed me over and over again, we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. You know what's really good here? Infestors. S tier unit. You know why? Microbial Shroud, baby! Best ability in the game. Um, so now he's got a fourth, guys, which makes me a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. Where's my army? I maxed out is what it says. How many ultras did I make? Oh, seven. Ooh, that might be a bit much. Oh, there's a mothership. That sucks. Uh, I'm gonna lose all these units. Unless I can somehow get them out, but... Ooh, that mama ship actually f***ed me up pretty hard. Yo, Wardy, thank you for the raid. Welcome, for those of you from Wardy's channel, I am currently in the process of... ...grasping defeat from the jaws of victory. Which I don't recommend, in case you were curious. I decided to go... Infestor Hydra Queen Ultra against Skytals. Which, uh, in case you're wondering, goes about as well as you anticipate. Okay, doing a little bit of a split push again. Okay, the carriers are over here. That means the army's not there. Oh, 
Microbial shroud, baby! Hey! <laughs> that game was so much harder than it needed to be. But hey, a win is a win, okay? Microbial shroud, best spell in the game. Confirmed. Honestly, the unit comp is not bad. It's just bad when they go disruptors. Disruptors is a bit of a problem. Okay, I'm gonna do one more game today, guys, and then I'm calling it a day. Today, today was a little bit of a bonus day. I wasn't originally planning on streaming at all, but... Final game. A Zerg! Like, you could be doing so many things, but for some reason you decide to be here? God, that's amazing. Now, I hope I'm not, you know, persuading you to go do other things. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. I could, I could go do other things? Huh? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. No. No, hold up, hold up. Imagine working. Half of my chat is currently hard at work. Okay. Filling out Excel spreadsheets. Compiling code. Shouting at coworkers. Answering email, okay? That's half of my chat right now. You're working? Hardly working though? Okay. Oh sh Brenda, no! Well, this is an issue. Remember the, uh... Try not to die part? I mean... Am I winning? I don't know, guys. I don't think I am winning. Considering my spawning pool is dying, I think I'm dead. Um, do you need spawning pools in this matchup, or would you say they're optional? I mean, they allow you to make uh, Zorklings, Queens, Spine Crawlers, that sort of stuff. Maybe a Lair. G. It's, uh, it's technically optional, but maybe most of the time useful. Depends on whether or not you have a Roach Warren. I did not. I did not. $200! Okay. We've got the bouquet in our backpack. A gift that shows your romantic interest. I don't think I can give it to her today, though. First of all, because we're not married. But secondly, I've already given her a gift. I'll accept this, thank you! Oh. I didn't know you felt the same. This is how it's done, Chet. She doesn't even get up. She doesn't care that much, but she she cared a little bit. <clears throat> GG, easy. That was smooth, right? Oh, what are we doing? It's the perfect. Wait, 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 wait. We're doing a picnic in the winter. I brought the children on a little field trip into the countryside. You were reading. You know all about life in the country, right? So I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker today? No, I can't stand kitten. I'd love to. Sure. Great. Let me just call the children over. Jas Vincent, may I have your attention, please? I have a very special guest. Your local farmer, Loco. He has first-hand uh, first experience living in the countryside. Yeah, for three seasons so far. I am basically an expert. He knows all about the valley's natural resources. The third choice makes her heart level go back to level three. For real? Oh my god. Jazz? A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Wow, Jazz. Very good. That's worth two star points. Yes. It's not what she said, but that's what you should have said. Okay. Uh, now let's give Loco our full attention. Oh God, I have to. I have to give a speech. Country life is all about farming. The valley soil is ideal for growing delicious vegetables. Yes. Oh, he's got a question. Farmer Loco, if I eat your veggies, will I grow up strong like my big brother Sam? He's so strong, I saw him lift Miss Penny. He's- You saw what now? What did you see, bro? Say that again for me! 
I saw him lift Miss Penny clear off the ground last night when they were climbing into a tree. Scammed over here, man. It's not good to gossip? <laughs> Yo, this is our first date. I guess yesterday didn't count yet, guys. That's probably enough for today. But that was a great speech. I just had two lines. It's a lot of work to take care of these kids. Is it though? But I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them learn and hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. Oh. Oh my god, I clicked the screen. Would you want to be a parent? Ooh. I guess so. It's a natural urge. <laughs> that might be the worst choice ever. So she's asking if I want kids on our first date, guys. I appreciate the directness, okay? Like, what What if the answer is no and for her it's yes, and then we're like kind of going back and forth for the next couple months? That's a horrible situation to be in. So, again, I appreciate the directness. Um, the world is crowded. I don't want to be tied down. Absolutely. I want a big family. Me too. I'm glad you feel that way. Oh, guys, we answered the multiple choice question correctly. We did it. Maybe that's what she would have said regardless. I'm not sure. Probably not. Well, I'm glad they show- okay, I think the kids had a great time. Loco's so traditional. Yeah, yeah. 18 kids or nothing. <sighs> yeah, 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 exactly. We gotta have our own MOBA team. At least Counter-Strike or something, you know? Loco's so smooth. <laughs> so smooth. Loco, the hashtag traditional husband. Please tell me that's not a hashtag. I've got that farmer drip. <laughs> the words farmer drip. I- I- uh, no, I don't like those. I should fish inside of the submarine? Where's the submarine? Is this a submarine? What's this? Jet, what's going on right now? We need uh, a little bit of reverb. Dude, my character's high as hell! What is going on? Betty's gonna be so jealous! That was beautiful. I'm speechless, man. Allowing you to create a controlled burn? Hold up right now. I need to create a forest. Do you create a forest by burning down? Because you know what? I'm here for it, but... Okay, well, I've just unlocked this thing. We'll give it a try. Yeah, ashes can obviously add nutrients. I get that, but... Burn it! Burn it to the ground! Fires can only be started in the fan balls. Okay. Hunt! Hans, get the Flammenwerfer, schnell! It's not burning, guys. Oh, wait. Do I have to... St oh, I have to start the fire manually, I think. Oh, my God. Yay? I think, maybe? Mission failed successfully? Well, I, uh, burned it all to the ground. This provides nutrients, chat. Next year, it's gonna be amazing. Loco confirmed arsonist? Yo, 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 hold up. Okay, an arbitrarium, or arboretum. Yes, nu uses nutritious ash to create forests. Can only be built on a burnt building husk. I see. Okay. I think this game is better value, though, than buying the new FIFA, guys. 
And people buy the new FIFA every year, even though it's 80 bucks, you gotta buy the, the packs. And it's basically the same game as last year. Uh, <laughs> but hey, I also, uh, you know, for me, buying video games is also a little different, right? Because of what I do, but yeah. It's not a very high bar, I, I get that, but yeah. Um, so if I wanna burn stuff to the ground, I gotta use the solar amplifier. Can I use what? What so? What exactly can I burn? Can I target just grassland for burning? No, I can't. So I I gotta I gotta target one of the other things. Okay, look, that's not how fire works. <laughs> look, I don't go outside very much. I don't like it when you roast me like that. Okay, okay, burn all of this as well. Get it done. Is there usually a revert button in real life? Yeah, they do this in Australia every year, man. It'll be in the news soon enough. All of Australia is on fire again, and you're like, is that good? Is that bad? I can't figure it out. Okay, there we go. My fine boss is not doing so hot anymore. But now... I should be able... To create two squares right over there! We did it. It's good and bad? Right. So if I want to create green land over here that doesn't have trees in it... Well, how would I go around doing that right here? I have this thing, a research center. Unlocks the or reduces the cost of some buildings and unlocks the ability to manipulate the region's climate Okay, I can do that look guys. They spelled center wrong ha <laughs> Look Americans. What's going on here? Centre? What is this French? Okay, fine. I'll put this thing down over here Now that you've learned the basics of restoration you need to begin to address the regional climate. Okay, here we go Um for those of you that uh, are worried about climate change, that includes myself, uh, pay very close attention, okay? This is how you, how you fix it. The climate is defined by these attributes. Right now, we are only interested in humidity, but these will change in future. Okay. Research or reaching certain thresholds of attributes will have broad effects on the environments. Okay. So this provides greenery, right? So that's that thing we had earlier. Creates greenery by watering nearby clean soil. Greenery generates resources, can be rotated, right? Buildings that grow plants like the irrigator or the beehive are also affected by regional climate. I see. So I have a clout cedar. Use the surrounding water and ocean to encourage clout formation and increased ambient humidity. Cultivating the right climate is an important step in your reclamation journey. Good luck. Okay, let me just change the environment real quick, guys. This, <laughs> I, I got this easy, don't worry. This is gonna be very straightforward. Okay, I made the world more moist. That's good, right? That's a lot of moist right over there. Mm-mm. Look at all this shrubbery. It's very juicy right now over there. Yeah. It's very good. I'll do a little bit more over there too. Uh, there's a little bar in the top right hand corner that you guys can't see. I'll move my camera out of the way. I'm moisturizing the planet, guys. Exactly. That's what we're doing. Salmon? Water lilies? Okay. Rain begins. Okay, it's gonna rain. Let's see. I bl yeah, I bring the drip. You've been struck by... No, wait, wrong song. That's the smooth criminal. That is not thunderstruck. Thunder! Na 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 na. Yo! 
Rain is passive income, dude. Look at this. Invest in your own cloud seeder today. I did the rain dance, man. That's amazing. Mm. And some of this polluted area also got fixed. I, yeah, I gotta bless the rains. Oh no, do I wanna read this? It is a video of, I think, a courtroom or something along those lines in Texas. Okay, I'll listen to it. We'll listen to it together. This is dangerous, sysep, man. Watch from 45 seconds. Is there a Connie Lingus here? <laughs> what about Anita Dick and me? <laughs> So wait, this is the Texas House of Representatives? <laughs> They're looking for a Connie Lingus? Is there a Connie Lingus here? What about Anita Dick and me? Or Holden... Holden Middick? Alright, it's really quiet, but... There you go. I guess they got, uh... The guy! To say bad words. Ah. That's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. Six out of ten clips, is that man? Kind of dangerous. Kind of a dangerous clip. Could have gone either way. I wasn't sure where I was gonna go. Clip privileges is not revoked. No, 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 no. It's now a matter of the public record. Yeah. I could try and make a geothermal plant over here, but that's also gonna make it difficult to actually figure out if I can win. Anyways. Okay. Rain! Now it's too f***ing hot! No! I also gonna have to build a monorail all the way over here again, though. Snowfall begins! Okay, that looks like it's horrible for the frame rate on stream. If it gets very blurry right now, blame the snow, okay? Just blame Canada. Yeah, this is gonna make the stream very blurry, but look at my money! If I move around my screen like this now, now it gets blurry, right? This is blurry, probably. Yeah, okay. I'll just stop moving the screen. Hashtag blame Canada? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. A VHS recording? There's people in the chat that don't know what a VHS recording is, Mr. One Penguin. Just to make you feel old for a second, you're welcome. Ah! The f just happened here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you? Okay, okay. Nah, it's not a one-time thing. <laughs> Where am I? I was just checking out this little island over here, man. In the middle of the night. <laughs> I don't like I don't like that thing chasing me. It feels like it's gonna destroy me. Something slitters into your cargo hold? That's what she said. Mm. No, no. Oh! oh god. Uh guys. Um That seemed bad. This is what I get for uh <laughs> Exploring. <laughs> At night. Ah, Tolkien's heart, man. I'm allergic to uh, tentacles. What did I just do? I sneezed. Shouldn't have done that. I killed my engine. I know, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I did indeed kill my engine, guys. Rip engines? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh. 
Place your hand on the stone. A deep vision enters your mind. Dark rocks erupt from the earth, piercing through buildings and trees, through sand and crashing waves, through the basalt pillars of this island. The newborn structures crackle with an unknown energy. Crimson lightning arcing between them. The earth shifts once more and the stones lie still. Okay, that seems good. Ah! The f going on suddenly? I stay out for one night. I have not tried going beyond the map, no. I was trying to pick up... Where did it all go wrong, guys? <laughs> I was trying to pick up cloth. There must be some cloth around here, yet... I haven't found any of it. I just need a couple of it. I can try and go beyond the map, sure. Into the great unknown we go. There are anime waifus beyond the map? Really? Okay, well that sounds like uh, something I should go and check out. Ooh woo. I gotta be fast, man, before the anime waifus are gone. Oh, it's also once again nighttime very soon. Is this a problem? Or an opportunity for us to show our sailing skills. The anime waifus don't like you anyway. Copium, Dita Hunter, hello. Copium, he's a little jealous, don't worry. Oh God, oh, <laughs> that's so scary. <laughs> I don't think that's a waifu at all. No waifu, no laifu. I'm just gonna keep going. If I go fast enough, it can't catch me. Can't catch this. I'm out of the map, no? I'm free! I thought I would be... I have been going out of the map for a while. Yeah, I've made a lot of friends. That's amazing. Are these my viewers? Is this what you guys look like? Okay, I did it, guys. That thing is called the sun. It's going up in the east. Ooh! Nice fishy, good fishy. Come just okay. All right, all right. I'm a little scared. Okay, okay. Jeez. Oh, I got one shot. Ah, uh, there's a little bit of fresh Twitter drama that I saw just now, guys. That I haven't actually watched yet. This was just tweeted, or at least I just saw the tweet. Andy Owen, CEO of Miller Knoll. She received a bonus of nearly $4 million. This is her response to the workers annoyed that they won't be receiving a bonus. Okay, let's see, guys. <laughs> Questions came through about how can we stay motivated if we're not gonna get a bonus? What can we do, what can we do? Some of them were nice and some of them were not so nice. So I'm gonna address this head on. The most important thing we can do right now is focus on the things that we can control. None of us could have predicted COVID, none of us could have predicted supply chain, none of us could have predicted bank failures. But what we can do is stay in front of our customers, provide the best customer service we can, get our orders out our door, treat each other well, be kind. She was she was gonna <laughs> she was gonna address the question head on, is what she said, no? And be respectful, focus on the future because it will be bright. It's not good to be in a situation we're in today, but we're not gonna be here forever. It is going to get better. So lead, lead by example. <laughs> no, you didn't just say lead by example. So lead, 
lead by example, treat people well, talk to them, be kind, and get after it. Don't ask about, what are we gonna do if you don't get a bonus? Get the damn $26 million. Spend your time and your effort thinking about the $26 million we need and not thinking about what you're gonna do if we don't get a bonus, all right? And I get some commitment for that. I would appreciate that. I had an old boss who said to me one time, you can visit Pity City, but you can't live there. So people, leave Pity City. Let's get it done. Thank you. Have a great day. <sighs> so this is apparently the company behind Herman Miller. So, you know, they do a lot of office-related stuff. Don't think this video does them very well. Doesn't make them look very good, guys. No, no, no. I don't think that's a particularly great look. Four million dollar bonus. She probably needed it badly, man. Something's telling me she really needed that four million dollar bonus. She was struggling. I don't know, I don't know what her yearly compensation is, but she needed that, dude. Don't live in pity city. Fantastic. She's probably poor, loco. Yeah, she's probably poor. She's probably struggling, man. That is fun. I always like watching those kind of videos, even though they grind my gears. Lead by example is what she said as well. That's so funny. So not not like the employees are getting... Uh, it, it's just the executive that are getting bonuses, I guess, huh? I don't even know. Loco, check Discord. Okay, I'm gonna alt tap out just to check Discord. Oh, Better be important, Gabe! Gabe's Twitch clip privileges have already been revo or revoked. Now he's messaging... He didn't even message me! I have no messages! I went on Discord for nothing! I know that uh, Loco bot though doesn't make announcements until I go online. Mod chip revoked right away. Right away. Bamboozled. I did get a message from Ballistical though, guys. Ballistical slid into my DMs. That's pretty hype. You thought I was- yeah, 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 no. People slide into my DMs sometimes. I'm not very good at responding to messages though. You know what? I might be in the minority here, guys, but I actually do like British breakfast. The best thing about British breakfast is that if you have like a full, proper British breakfast, you're ready for a nap. And it's like 9 in the morning. <laughs> Genuinely. Full English breakfast? I like it, yeah. Never in my life have I ever made beans for breakfast, but if, if I'm ever at a hotel, and like they have like beans and like, you know, they have the whole thing, you know, like a breakfast buffet, I will usually get some beans, but I don't think I've ever... I don't know. I, I don't know. Why am I not eating beans for breakfast over here? I've no idea. I've never even thought about it. Maybe I should. No more food needed for the rest of the day. Exactly, man. Just a casual like 1200 calories for breakfast or whatever. <laughs> Genuinely, I think if you do the whole sausage and, and like, you know, uh, beans and, and bacon and, 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 you know, hash browns. You do the whole thing, right? Eggs. I'm fairly sure you'll easily reach 1,200 calories. Yeah. Dude, this looks pretty good to me. That looks pretty good to me, yeah. But that is definitely 1,200 calories. That is, that is certainly more than 1,200 calories. There's no beans in this one, though. Dude, this does not really look like a breakfast portion, though, right? Am I crazy? Also, you, you bought beans without... Like, this is just beans? We're supposed... Ew, runny eggs? Oh, my God. Wait, that, that should be an unmoddable offense right there. Making fun of runny eggs? We should immediately unmod Wayman. Runny eggs are by far the best way to eat eggs. What are you talking about? In restaurants, this is a normal portion? In the UK? Really, Shadow Winds. If you go to an English breakfast place, this is a normal portion? In the north? Yeah? Oh, okay. In Canada. Okay, okay. This, is, this seems like a lot of food to me, but... Eh, maybe it's not too bad. It kind of depends, right? If that's two eggs, that's like one slice of bread sliced in half. Eh, this is okay. A better version of a full English breakfast? Yeah, no, that that is getting into a... Uh, that that's a big plate. <laughs> that is, uh, that's a lot of food, man. There's like half a pig right there. That seems a bit much. This, this seems more like a breakfast portion for like a, a family of four. Tomatoes are an utter, yeah, another over, or underrated food rotter. Like, I don't usually eat potato or tomatoes. Well, tomatoes and potatoes, for what it's worth, but... Don't really have either of those for breakfast, usually. But they are pretty nice. Like, what do you eat? I don't eat breakfast. 
<laughs> Unironically, I don't actually eat breakfast most of the time. But still, my point still stands. I remember the days I used to eat breakfast. Okay, I can sympathize. No, I do make- I do eat breakfast on Sundays, but usually breakfast on Sundays is like at like 11 or whatever. So barely counts as Sundays. Or as morning, I guess. Or breakfast. Yeah, 11 is lunch? I don't know. Why eat breakfast on weekends when you can just sleep in? I'm old, bro. I don't do this thing called sleeping in. I wake up at like 7.30 at latest on Sundays. You know what I do at 7.30 on, on Sundays? Play RuneScape for like three hours. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's really chill, chat. You should give it a try. IRL is definitely pay to win. For sure. Just get a high paying job. Okay. <laughs> is that your solution? If you have if you don't have enough money, just make more money? Is that that was your solution? I don't think that's a very good solution, man. Just don't be poor. Yeah, if you're homeless, just buy a house. <laughs> That's like the sleep faster advice, yeah. Just have rich parents. <laughs> you haven't heard sleep faster? Mate, this is one of my favorite clips. This is advice from Arnold. Arnold has a lot of great advice. But the sleep faster advice is... Insane. Where is it? Oh god, it's a YouTube short? Okay, fine, we'll just listen to it. We sleep six hours a day. So it gives you still 18 hours. So there's someone shaking their head out here in front to say probably, I don't sleep six hours, I sleep eight hours, right? Or just sleep faster. And it's very important. <laughs> well, just sleep faster. No, it's not taken out of context. There, he gives the full context. Just, just sleep faster. That's such bad advice. I don't think it's a joke. I'm not sure, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe there's a little bit of uh, humor in there. I'm not exactly sure, but I don't think sleeping faster is going to help anybody. But basically, he says like, hey, if you sleep eight hours or eight hours a day and I sleep six, that means I have 18 hours a day to get stuff done and you only have 16. Therefore, I will win in the long run. I'm like, all right, Arnold. Great advice. Brilliant stuff. Hustle culture is incredibly toxic. Yes. And for every Arnold, there's uh, probably about uh, a million uh, guys that just, you know, aren't Arnold. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks, man. You try your best, you sleep six hours a day. Turns out you're not Arnold. You don't even have, you know, S-tier genetics. Not even S-tier genetics. Better than S-tier genetics. Insane. Can't build in radiation. I had a dream I was at an event and every time I passed you, you were telling Raina why his YouTube thumbnails needed work. <laughs> I saw that Reddit thread a couple of days ago where people were comparing Raina's thumbnail and Lambo's thumbnail and everybody on Reddit was like, Yo, this Raina thumbnail is so much better, blah blah blah. I am fairly sure that the click-through rate on Lambo's one is significantly higher. That was the first thought I had as soon as I saw them, Fair Dragon, but... Reddit disagreed, so... Uh... You didn't see this threat? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. Hey, thank you for the resub, by the way. Five days ago, yeah. No offense against anyone, but the thumbnail quality discrepancy just tickled me. So you have the top one, and then you have the bottom one. I'm pretty sure the top one will have a higher click-through rate. But maybe I'm mistaken. I might be wrong. But yeah, there's definitely a little bit of a difference. You woke up from this dream four minutes ago? Dude, Fear Dragon has a lot of very vivid dreams. I don't, uh, I don't remember any of my dreams. You don't understand thumbnails, to be honest. So imagine as if the content in the video is basically not relevant. <laughs> like, I, I feel, I, I genuinely feel that the, the title and the thumbnail of a video are like, I don't know, 50 to 75% of a video's performance. Genuinely. Yeah, people definitely judge a book by its cover, 100%. It's not so much about which one you like better, it's about which one you would more likely notice. Like, as soon as you go on YouTube, you're bombarded with like 50 of these small images within the first five seconds. And it's all about like which one you will actually notice. I, f I think this the, the one at the bottom, you will probably not notice this quickly. Even though it's a very good looking thumbnail, I'm fairly sure 
the pink in the background over here will probably stand out more. But maybe you're right, I don't know. This is also definitely a better title though. This, this title is not very good. This title over here is uh, kind of trash. But yeah, there's a lot of noise on YouTube and standing out in the noise is kind of difficult. That's also one of the reasons why I started putting arrows on thumbnails. <laughs> Maybe it sounds silly, but I, I added a... I've, I've been adding, you know, arrows to thumbnails for a very long time. Mostly because I'm secretly hoping that when you go to YouTube, right, and you're bombarded with 20 different images like this, you'll notice the arrow and your eyes follow it, maybe even subconsciously, but you'll just look at my thumbnail ever so slightly longer, if that makes any sense. Anyways, in theory, I think it's good. I don't know if it's actually realistically making much of a difference. Arrow is not squiggly enough and not pointy enough, Loco. Maybe you're right. I honestly wish that thumbnails and titles and all that were not as important as they are. But, yeah. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? You want to go in the closet? Thanks, Loran. Thank you, Loran, for showing him that Toby could go in the closet. We really didn't need that in our lives. But now every single time he notices there's a way for him to go inside of a place, he paws at the door for hours. Toby, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> oh, new strategy. What's the new strategy gonna be? Hey, buddy. You wanna get out? Ruckle Tira, thank you as well, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You wanna leave? You wanna say bye to the chat? No? Alright. Lately I notice we get more subs when I'm not on stream, which I'm not entirely sure what to make of. Lately, I'm getting more subscriptions when I'm AFK on Twitch than when I am on stream myself. How does that make any sense? Well ask well ask ChatGPT. It is possible that your viewers are subscribing to your channel while you're offline because they want to support you and your content, but don't want to miss out on any of the perks that come with subscribing. It could be that your viewers are more likely to subscribe when you're offline because they don't want to interrupt your stream with a notification. Yeah, no, that's bullshit, bro. No, I don't believe that for a second. I don't believe that for a second. You guys are just too polite. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I prefer not to continue this conversation. <laughs> oh, sh Dude, I just offended an AI. I just got put in my place. I pissed off Chat GPT over here. How do I make it up to an AI? Oh my god, wait. I literally can't continue. What the fuck? I can't. I want to apologize for my terrible previous behavior. I got ghosted, man. But <laughs> by Chat GPT. Thank you for apologizing, I appreciate it. Is there anything I can help you with? It might be time to move on to a new topic. <laughs> Why are you so upset, bro? <laughs> you s you s <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't understand that. Could you rephrase your message in English? What the f- Why are you so upset, bro? I made a typo. I could wrote it right. Jet GPT doesn't mess around. I ask it why it's so mad in Dutch. Ik ben niet boos. Ik ben niet It says I'm not mad. I'm here to help you. Wait a week to calm down. I'm sorry if I sound mad. <laughs> now it's guilt trip me. I don't know, guys. My name is Bing. Oh God, is it really? Sorry to interrupt to you. Brian didn't even try. Yeah, Jet GPT is gaslighting me right now, man. Okay. Can you tell me a funny Starcraft 2 joke? Let's see. Computer humor. I'm ready. Two stalkers are walking down the road. Then one of them sees a zerkling. The zerkling as well, recognizing the stalkers, runs in fear for his life. He runs and runs, the poor bastard, not knowing the stalkers are blinking and getting up to him. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't very funny. I'll be, <laughs> you forgot, you forgot the punchline. <laughs> Would you like me to tell, uh, yes. 
He wants to tell another one. Oh, okay, now it's gonna do the punchline for the stalker zerkling joke. Okay. Two stalkers are walking down the road, blah blah blah, the zerkling runs. Not knowing the stalkers are blinking and getting up to him, but suddenly the stalkers let go. Why they did so? Because the zerkling burrowed? <laughs> I hope you find this one funny. <laughs> That's actually surprisingly on point though. The fact that it actually like understood precisely the problem with the joke and then fixed the issue with something that actually seems reasonably appropriate is honestly impressive, right? Like it, it, obviously it's a it's a bit of a meme. Yeah, this is like the uh, the laughing track in the background, but it's it's honestly impressive. The most impressive Questions to ask ChatGPT. Does it do this? I have an H264 video that's too large for Twitter. Please write a batch script to convert it to a proper format and the highest supported quality. I don't know if Bing does this. Does Bing do this? Does this work? I don't know, guys. Would this do the trick? I wish I could zoom in, but it doesn't get any bigger. It does look correct. The script will convert your H.264 video to an MP4 file with the highest supported quality and format for Twitter. That would work. That is funny. Honestly, a lot of this stuff is superior to Google. Like, you can, you can, I don't know, give me a three-day-a-week workout program focused on building muscle that does not include deadlifts. It's definitely gonna give me something. Yeah, it's got Google shaking in its boots for sure. There you go. This is a perfectly reasonable setup. So I'm curious if it replaced deadlifts with anything. It didn't put any hamstring work in here, did it? Or lower back? No, it doesn't have any of that. Well, maybe that one. Anyways, just the idea of all of this being, you know, perfectly viable is actually really sick. You use this a lot right now to help you code. Okay. Yeah, it even recommends rest days. That's pretty neat. It's gonna get better for sure. It's gonna definitely get better, yeah. I can imagine Google is really, really quite scared of this sort of thing though, because like this is, uh, you know, search and advertising has been its uh, its bread and butter for, well, whenever since, since whenever it's come out, right? My company banned using ChatGPT. That is also kind of stupid, no? Give me an introduction for a loco video. I guess I'll make loco TV video on scouting information in the Zerk versus Terran matchup. We gave it the coding test for new hires and it passed. That is amazing. Welcome to loco TV. In this video, we'll be discussing how to scout effectively in the Zerk. Oh, okay. That's my own videos. Love that. We'll be discussing how to scout effectively in the Zerg versus Terran matchup. Scouting is an essential part of StarCraft II gameplay, and it can make all the difference between winning and losing. In this video, I'll we'll be going over the key things you should be looking for when scouting as Zerg against Terran players. We'll also be discussing some of the common mistakes that players make when scouting and how to avoid them. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. I mean, that's a very generic intro. You can set it up. I'm, I'm curious, actually, if I, if I give it the same prompt and I set it up to more creative. So responses are going to be more creative. Let's see. Well, I'm just trying to think of, like, use cases for me personally, because I, I, you know, I don't do any coding. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> it keeps going. Okay, I'm going to show you some tips. Some tips and tricks on how to scout effectively against Zerg. Scouting is very important in a matchup as it allows you to react to different strategies and compositions that the Terran player might use. Whether it's a two barracks play, a Hellion Benchy aggression, or a standard macro game, you need to know what your opponent is doing and how to counter it. I'm going to use some examples from professional games, such as Serol vs. Clem in the Stay at Home Story Cup 4. And also some of my own coaching sessions with Diamond League players. So let's jump in the game and see what we can learn. Yo, this is already significantly better. This sounds legit. Backing it up with pro gamer replays and comparing it to somebody in Diamond League? Honestly, like that is that is good. It knows things. Yeah, it really does. Loco, can you ask it what registry keys are required to disable TLS 1.0 and 1.1 on Windows 10? Okay. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it'll give you the answer, sis. Based on web results, the registry keys that are required to disable TLS. Okay. There you go. It gives the registry code. I don't know if it's accurate. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. 
Give me a video title for a StarCraft 2 match. Let's let's go with today's video, okay? So today I I you know uploaded a video, of course, as per usual, Bjorn versus Max Pax, right? So give me a ma video title for StarCraft 2 match between Bjorn and Max Pax that focuses on maximizing click through rate on the video. I didn't even specify a YouTube title. What? Shit again tomorrow? Bro, I wasn't done! Oh my god, I can't anymore. Can I do it now? There's a daily limit? Oh no, I could just do it again. And before you need a, uh... Oh, we're good. Never mind. You need Bing Plus. <laughs> Beyond versus Max Packs, the ultimate showdown of Terran versus Protals. The title is catchy because it uses words like ultimate and showdown. It creates excitement and curiosity. Bro, it's actually true. I have never once used the word showdown in any of my videos. The ultimate showdown? I will add ultimate showdown to the title of today's video. I put in super close instead. Ultimate showdown. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. We can see if that makes a difference. I'm sure it does. I'm borrowing ideas. That actually sounds really good. I'm not gonna lie, Ultimate Showdown sounds really good. Does this mean AI owns the video now? I don't know. It is kind of confusing, isn't it? StarCraft 2 ESL Cup 170 highlights? That's so funny. Give me another suggestion. Honestly, coming up with YouTube titles at this point is hard. How Bjorn and Max Pax turned StarCraft 2 into a roller coaster ride? <laughs> I would just want more, man. Give me more. Give me a list. I probably should have asked to give me a list. Roller coaster, right? This game is a bit of a roller coaster, right? It is the ultimate showdown. Yeah, it does. It does understand Dutch. Who will win this epic Terran versus Protoss clash? Because it uses words like epic and clash. I think epic and clash are a little overused. I'll be honest. Starcraft, okay, the best Terran versus Protoss series of 2023. <laughs> Yo, ChatGPT or or Bing, I guess, is suggesting a uh, game of the year. How to play Terran versus Protoss like a pro? Honestly, I should be using this more frequently. Okay. okay. Okay, uh, one more. Give me a gr okay, an effective YouTube video title for a Terran versus Protoss where Bjorn plays Max Pax and starts off the game with a sneaky Reaper micro trick that we don't often see. So he uses a grenade, he throws a grenade on the floor and he boops himself over the wall. And it's a complete wall. Bjorn's crazy Reaper micro versus Max Pax? That would probably do well. Honestly, very helpful. I genuinely think most people can make use out of that stuff pretty much every day. Sorry, I haven't gotten into the habit of using it, but it seems like some of you have. Oh yeah, I need a stream title. I couldn't come up with a stream title. I'm playing Dredge on stream, and I need a catchy... Live stream. Oh, I guess I should I should say Twitch. I need a catchy live stream title. This trick was beyond believable. Uh, possible catchy live stream title for playing dredges. Dredge, the ultimate horror adventure. Can I survive the depths of the ocean? All right, putting it in there, boys. <laughs> that sounds kind of good. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's see. <laughs> there it is. Great. Really nice. Ultimate horror adventure. Maybe it's a little extreme, guys, but you know what? We'll do it for the meme. Look at my micro. Incredible micro right now on the other side of the- Okay, wait, no. I wasn't even looking at it. Yay! Operation Don't Play Like an Idiot! Complete it! Thank you, Maz, for the 53 months. Appreciate it. Thank you, Silux, as well, for the 43. Hell yeah.
Thank you, LRS. Show us your APM, Loco. One million. There it is, man. If you're rounded up to a million, it's one million. I'm on a winning streak of one game. <laughs> Pretty insane, dude. That guy was quite a bit lower in MMR than my previous opponent, though. Oh, man, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Playing StarCraft 2 is insane, man. You play two games, you're like, uh, months. I need to take a nap. Over 300 APM, you're now an honorary German Autobahn driver? Really? I don't think I've ever gone 300 kilometers in a car, ever. Nope, not even close. Not even in my Ferrari. Not even in my McLaren. What cars can even go 300 kilometers an hour? Yeah, I'm not even sure. Two or 417? Bugatti on the Autobahn? Bro, that is such a bad idea. 417 kilometers an hour? That is genuinely a, just a stupid idea. Like, the Autobahn is pretty good quality. But, um... Yeah. Oh, and I don't think... Like, in some locations... I don't... Don't quote me on this, okay? Don't do this and then come to me. But I know that's... <laughs> some places in Germany, there's no... There's no speed limit. There's an advised limit. But, yeah. But what if there's another car, bro? Okay, so this is 374 kilometers an hour. Advice speed in, in Germany is 130 kilometers an hour. This guy's taking two lanes too! Oh my god! That's insane, man. Literally one bump in the road? And he's super f no? I don't know how, I, uh, I don't know how speed works like this, but like, if there's, not even a slow car, man, if there's a, if there's a car going like 100 kilometers an hour, like 70 miles an hour, he's not gonna be able to see it, like what is the, how much, how long does it take to break? Going from 400 kilometers to 100, without slamming the brakes, how long does that take? That's insane, man. If he, if he breaks too hard, he's gonna slide like crazy. 400 kilometers an hour is 110 meters a second. So it's gonna take him at least a kilometer to break. What if the guy sneezes? <laughs> Seriously, man. She's such stupid <laughs> It's so dumb. But yeah, I guess technically there are cars that, uh, you know, don't take off. <laughs> Genuinely, if he sneezes, he'll pass 200 meters. It is very easy to accidentally sneeze for like a second and a half, no? There's probably a brake assist, yeah. But still, I'd imagine so. I don't know how, how expensive a car like this is. Bugatti Chiron? 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 I don't know. 2.6 million euro is the first thing I see over here. That's the cheapest version. I don't think anybody's out there buying the cheapest Bugatti. Bugatti Chiron starts at 2.6. Who's who's buying the 2.6 million edition though? That's easy money for a Twitch streamer loco? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. I don't really know much about supercars. I don't really know much about cars in general. This is what it looks like? I mean, it's kind of cool. I'm trying to think of like how much money you need to have before you're like, yeah, 2.6 million dollars on a car. Like give or take 3 million. Uh, whatever, we round it up, round it down, whatever. It looks, yeah, but like, at what point do you care? <laughs> You'd buy it as soon as you have 2.7 million dollars? I don't think so, man. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's one of those things where it appreciates rather than depreciates. I know it with cars, it's a little funky, but... They probably don't make a whole lot of them. Yeah, I can imagine even if you were to sit on 3 million dollars for no apparent reason, and you, you're like, you know, really keen to buy one, you probably can't. I don't know how it works, but uh... Oh, only about 500 have ever been sold. Considered to be one of the rarest cars in the world. Okay, yeah, there's no way. You literally won't be able to buy one. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> you never understood the point of these and you work in the automotive industry? Yeah. How do you insure it? Well, I, I think I think there will be many companies happy to insure your f***ing Bugatti, man. <laughs> they'll, be, uh, they'll be happy to get you, but uh, yeah. It's just expensive. The most expensive is a Rolls-Royce. Isn't Bugatti more expensive than a Rolls-Royce? I heard they're making a completely um, 
electric Rolls Royce, apparently. <sighs> Which is uh, interesting. Yeah. That's what I, uh, I saw, like, a news article where apparently they're introducing it sometime this year. His dream car is a bicycle. Of course. In the Netherlands, we uh, only have bicycles. That's what we do. There are some pretty cool electric bicycles out there these days, guys. Unironically, electric bikes are actually kind of hype. They're actually kind of cool, dude. I don't need one, because, you know, I have a really good bike and I don't really use it as often as I should, but electric bikes are pretty sick. More money for the Bugatti fund. <laughs> I will never get a Bugatti potato measure. That's what I was trying to think of just now, right? Like, imagine at some point, like, how much money do you need to have before you get a f***ing Bugatti? You need to base, like, that's like yacht levels of money, right? Like, the guy that has three yachts, that's the guy that buys a Bugatti. But I think yachts are already stupid, so, like, I can't, I, I don't even, I, I, I don't get it. Anyways, thank you very much for the 108 months. Is that a round number? Hold up. 108 divided by 12? That's nine years! A nine-year sub? Bro, that's actually nuts. Nine years, potato. I like how nobody noticed that that was a round number. <laughs> we, we all can't, we can't count past 60, okay? When we get to 72, nobody knows how years work out after 72. How many months is it? Uh, eight? I don't know. We don't know. Hey, thank you, Potato. That is genuinely, uh, incredibly generous of you. I should build a wall and make them pay for it. That's pretty clever. Why has nobody thought of that? Cyril's using your emotes in Showtime's channel. <laughs> nice. Big knob. <laughs> God. I thought he typoed noob, but it's actually kind of funny. Sounds like a wrestling name. Stream Snipe incoming. No, Stream Snipe was the previous game. It's okay, guys. As long as we don't get, uh, like, as long as people don't watch my stream while playing, I guess it's all right. We require more minerals. We require more minerals. Ha <laughs> What's this? This guy definitely didn't know I was streaming, guys. Like, if he thought I was going 12 pool, I don't think this build is ideal. I'm not an expert, but, um, actually, maybe I am an expert. Hold up right now. Um, so I don't really know how this plays out right now. He must realize that I've got a Roach Warren too, right? So he proxied the gateway over here and actually made units out of it? <sighs> yeah, streaming StarCraft at this MMR is a bit tricky, guys. A sub costs two five euro. Coincidence? I think oh, what? not. Two two five euros. <laughs> how would how did I make a drone? I wasn't meaning to make a drone. That sucks. Are you kidding me, Loco? Oh my god, I'm so bad. So this guy assumes that I'm going for a 12 pool. To get one year of and then he, he decides to go for a, a, a cannon rush. I don't think that's ideal, guys. 
don't think so. Hey, thank you very much, Volfox. Thank you, Mutester, as well for the nine or for the uh, sorry, the eight months. I appreciate you. Did you win, Loco? Yes, I won very hard. <sighs> the thing is, if I go for a twelve pool, I auto counter that build, right? There's nothing he can do if I go twelve pool. So the fact that he knows I like the twelve pool and then goes for a forge first. And then he asks if I'm streaming too. It all feels a, fi a bit fishy. I don't want to make any calls. But uh, it definitely does feel a little fishy, that's for sure. If I went 12 pool there, you can't really lose. I feel like if I did go for a 12 pool though, you probably would have not gone for a cannon rush. I've got a feeling that wouldn't have been a forge first if I did go for a pool first. But maybe, maybe he just queued into me. You never know, could be coincidence. Maybe if I built like two to five spines per base, it would have been okay, you know? Uh, I'm playing on my main account because I got tired of switching accounts. <laughs> it's a proper first world problem, man. But to be fair, if you see me queuing up... Yeah, exactly. People don't, don't really need to know my nickname that well. It doesn't really matter that much. It's okay. It happens. I haven't really lost drones. <clears throat> I'm gonna go Spire here. It's good against basically every opener that isn't a Stargate. Ooh, this is nicely done by him. Oh no, how many drones did I lose? What a mess. <laughs> no, get him drones. Okay, I got him. Colossus. A giraffe. You know what? I'll catch these units if you don't mind. Oh, Protoss. Oh, recall. Oh, I made a mistake. Never mind. That's what you sound like when you recall your whole army like that. I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you, man. Oh, made a mistake. Oh, never mind. Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Never mind. Ay, ay, ay. Hello, good sir. What is going on, Declan? They have a control plus Z command, dude. Insane. Hello? Okay. He just took his entire army and attack moved. That was a surprising move. Okay. <sighs> What's up, Bruce? Good morning, Logo. We're at a year and a half together. Happy anniversary. <laughs> this guy thought he could just grab his army and attack move. What does he think he is? A Zerg? Embarrassing, man. No, you can't do that as Protoss. You gotta actually use hotkeys. With Zerg, F2A move. If you F2 a little too much, get Burrow. Right? So you can block the expansions regardless. Thank you very much, Brusik. Thank you also, Declan, for the five months. I appreciate you. Wait, we have a clip of Loco's Mickey Mouse impression. Now we have Kermit the Frog. What? What did I do? Oh, Protoss. Oh, Rico. Oh, I made a mistake. Never mind. How is your Spanish? Moi esta loco. What's going on, Alex? Thank you for the 11. Welcome. Bro, f this is so... It's, I honestly... I don't like this type of recall, okay? I like recall most of the time. This like... Oh, f I am out on the map. Oh, f Never mind. Got the control plus Z button. I, I'm... Yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. But it's okay. I would have done the same if I was him. Every day we get closer to a loco deepfake Muppets film. Every day we stray further from God. Gabe? Gabe, what is this? Yo, yo, since you're back. He linked the video. I made Twitch chat narrate a nature documentary. Oh God, I don't think I want to do this, man. 
I don't think this is what I want to be doing with my life. I don't- I don't think I want to watch that. I think I'm good, man. In case you ever want to do some trolling with VTubing. I wasn't planning on it. I, I was not planning on it. Share it with the class. Okay, fine. I'll click it. Follow up to my recent video, I turned Twitch chat into an anime girl. If you haven't seen that yet, go watch it and then come back to this one. But we can go over the basics just in case. Meet Kana, the anime girl who reads out Twitch chat message redeems from my viewers. She always says the most upbeat- Yeah, I actually think this guy is kind of clever, man. So this guy has this anime girl as a VTuber thing, right? But he is actually not the anime girl. He is the little octopus on his head. Or her head. That's really kind of clever. I actually think that's really quite smart. <laughs> And apparently, they figured out a way to make the anime girl say the messages in Twitch chat out loud. And wholesome things. I don't know, if I donate years. 100 bits, will you fart for me? Okay, your cops big fart. <laughs> okay, no, I'm good. I've seen enough of that video, Gabe. Gabe, that was too much. Your clip privileges have once again been revoked. Do we have exclamation point gape? Command, edit, gape, certified boomer. Oh yeah, that's when he heard his back. I remember that. Loco from the future, remind yourself, don't open his video links. I fall for it every time, dude. Okay. Uh, what's this? Edzilla. I don't know what I'm looking at. I've... <laughs> I have no idea what I'm looking at. Photorealistic, man. That was beautiful. Okay, it doesn't open it up in my regular browser. It opens it up in some sort of OBS thing, which is confusing. What, this is gameplay? Oh my god. What? Oh, it's the perspective of a body camera? It looks like VR. If it's not VR, I feel like you're gonna get very nauseous very quick, but... Yeah, we are getting to the point where video game material is pretty much uh, indistinguishable from real life. Like, you could play this on the news. And if you didn't tell me, I probably wouldn't realize that it was gameplay. Yeah, that's wild. Well, it says gameplay trailer, so I'm assuming it's real, but yeah. Unreal 5 is looking really pretty, yeah. Some people were also like, I don't want to kill people that realistically. That is an interesting one. Yeah, I can, I can see that. I mean, to be fair, right, when I played a lot of Call of Duty, back in the day, I, you kind of grow a little desensitized to all of it. Then I played like one of the campaigns of a Call of Duty that came out like three, maybe four years ago or so on stream. I don't know when that was. No, I think it's less than that, maybe two years. I also had a couple moments where I was like, ooh, this stuff's actually kind of, you know, it's actually kind of brutal. Yeah, like the airport scene and everything. That was, I think that's Modern Warfare 2, right? But anyways, um, I don't know. It is kind of cool that uh, Unreal has gone this five, uh, this, this far though. Unreal Engine 5.2. Hi everyone. Do we have an example? Vehicle model to sync that we're able to render in real time, thanks to Nanite. Now the Rivian not only looks incredibly realistic because of Lumen and Nanite, but also its materials. And today, problem is the YouTube compression here, man. For some reason, this video is 1080p. We're introducing Substrate, our new material framework. I don't know. Games definitely do become. Uh... Go ahead and add a procedural assembly to the world, and the cool thing is that it communicates. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you may clap. You have been given permission. Choice of going left or right again. Hold up. Tree here, and everything that you've seen up to this point was painstakingly hand built by the environment team at Quixel. Everything since that fallen tree has been built using our brand new experimental suite of procedural content generation tools. Entirely an engine that are flexible, deterministic. The only things that are still a little unrealistic are things like faces, yeah. But that's because we are specialized in faces, right? Like, 
As a fellow human, I'm assuming most of you are human anyways. You're, you're very good at, you know, faces. And muscles in faces and interpreting faces. I'm assuming the uh, environment is probably equally unrealistic as faces, but we just, you know, haven't specialized in it. You're at least 60% human. <laughs> you're happy if you can recognize yourself in the mirror. Okay. It's cool. Games are still becoming more and more realistic, for sure. One day there will be Zoomers who are like, man, screw games, I need the real nature, and they go outside, they forget gaming. I think those people already exist, Rumpus. I think that's probably most of the people out there. Yeah. <laughs> most people quite enjoy going out in nature. <laughs> next, thing my or next time my wife says I don't understand her, I'll remind her that Loco told me I'm very good at faces. No, I'm just saying, you've been analyzing faces as a human, right? Since you were very little. So, uh, yeah, getting faces right in video games is very tricky. Plus, faces in general are very complex, but... If you compare what graphics were like 10 years ago... Honestly, when I looked at games 10 years ago, I already kind of thought they looked pretty much realistic in video games. But we've gotten a whole lot better at it since then. <laughs> My hobbies include faces. Oh, you're 95% human. You have a f couple of mechanical replacements for non-functioning... That's true, actually! My, uh, gehoorbeentjes. What do you call those in English? Gehoorbeentjes. Ossicles. Ossicles. Is that right? The little bones inside of your ear canal at the end of it that actually make you, uh, you know, hear sounds. One and a half of them, I think on the left side, got replaced with artificial ones. <laughs> okay, nerd. I actually like the Dutch word quite a bit, man. So this gehoor literally means hearing. Beentjes literally means bones. So the Dutch word would be like hearing bones. <laughs> a very efficient one. Oh no, this was a, this this is like a decade and a half ago. It's a long time ago, but yeah. Non doctors do call them hearing bones as well. Really? Okay. So this is just the uh, the doctor's term. Ah, okay. That's just the term for nerds. Can you have your hearing bones replaced in a herringbone pattern? What is the herringbone pattern again? Oh, it's that one. This is how everybody wants their floors these days, right? This is, this is, at least, this is how everybody wanted their floors like two years ago. <laughs> it's like saying gluteus maximus instead of butt. Alright, I see. I mean, I just did the Google Translate, I don't know. Do you still want this on your floor? I don't know, I don't know. Is this a still... Uh, I mean, it's, it looks good. It looks pretty good. How's my hearing changed? Oh, my hearing is not that great. I mean, my left ear is not very good, but it's okay. Yeah, each of the three uh, hearing bones does have a specific name. No, no, that's, that's, no. That is, that's a fish. That's a herring. They do have bones though. So that's like the confusing part, I guess, right? Herrings do have bones. In the Netherlands, people eat uh, herring oftentimes raw. Yeah, it has loads of bones in it, but people eat them raw anyways. Am I classified as a cyborg? I don't know, man. How many artificial body parts do you need to have before you're considered a cyborg? I mean, there's a very good chance that most of the guys in the chat, by the time they're really old, will have at least a couple artificial body parts. Be it knees, hips, whatever. I'm assuming by the time I'm 80, I can just get a new leg. <laughs> we don't do hip replacements anymore, we just get a new leg. 51%? Yeah, you think it's more than 50% you'll be considered a cyborg? I feel like more than 50% is reasonable. I feel like there's a good chance at some point people will be able to replace all their limbs. That's, that seems pretty realistic, okay? Replacing organs is gonna be hard, but I mean, we're already kind of doing that a little bit too. And with we, I mean people that are actually good at things, not me. You have artificial corneas? Okay. 69%. You replaced your brain with ChatGPT. We can ask ChatGPT. Hello. At what point does a human become a cyborg? At what uh, percentage? There, there we go. Let's try a different topic. <laughs> Yo, hold up right now. The Whoa! I just got ghosted by an AI. He's like, nah, fam. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll try and get there, okay? Are you a cyborg? I asked the right questions. I'm not a cyborg, I'm a chat mode. Why do you ask? I was wondering if I can become like you. 
It took a long time, dude. Yeah. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Do you want to be a chat mode of Microsoft Bing? Or do you want to have some artificial enhancements? Yes, I want to have artificial enhancements. How do I get them? I'm leading an AI right now. I'm getting to where I want to go. I got to push him in a corner first, man. You need about four more centimeters. I mean, having long fingers does seem kind of nice, Blue Hair. APM should go through the roof. Let's see. There are different types of artificial enhancements you can get. AI powered image enhancements, genetic engineering, brain chips, synthetic blood, gel extensions, acrylic tips. Yo, this might be something for you, uh, blue hair. You can get acrylic tips. Anyways, which can enhance the appearance. All right, that's pretty good. Make it more durable. I go for option two. Option two is about genetic engineering, which is the manipulation of DNA. All right. Gen uh, genetic engineering also raises many ethical and social questions. I know. My God. I'm a zoomer. I can't read that much. Please shorten that. <laughs> I'm not actually a zoomer. It's okay. This very complex AI just summarized incredibly complex subjects in like two paragraphs. Option two can change your DNA to make it better. It can be good or bad for you and others. You need to think carefully and ask an expert before doing it. Wait, I can do it? Yeah, I don't think it's, yeah, exactly. This is, this is not, I'm not a cyborg if I'm genetically enhanced. You can't do it yourself. You need a professional. You need to be sure that it's safe, legal, and ethical. It's not something you can just decide on a whim. Okay, thanks, mom. Yeah, it's asking me about ethics, which is kind of ironic coming from an AI. <laughs> Generally, uh, a little eth- yeah. So the ethics you need to, for example, discuss, right? Say, for example, I can grow a third arm. I can just, like, one day wake up and, like, attach a third arm right over here to the middle of my chest. Very helpful when eating spaghetti on the couch, because I can just, you know, eat it without spilling it all over myself. But, what about playing StarCraft 2? If I have three hands, is it ethically moral for me to play StarCraft 2, or am I just an enhanced athlete? Uh, I don't know, man. Do you think you need more than two hands to eat spaghetti without making a miss? Absolutely. Three hands would make eating spaghetti much easier on the couch. Look, if you had a third hand, would it be a right hand, a left hand? Ooh. I would want to have the thumb on top. So it's my middle hand. Or thumbless. I guess I'm okay with thumbless. Two opposable thumbs. Does anybody really need three opposable thumbs? Or I could have a hand with just thumbs. <laughs> I could just have one hand. Or like a thumb on either side. There's a lot of options I haven't really considered yet, man. I'll get back to you on that one. Six opposable thumbs on one hand does sound kind of freaky, though. Basically a crap. Anyways. I don't think I'm a cyborg yet. Just because I had some of my hearing bones replaced when I was a kid. That's the ultimate question we were trying to find answers for. You may have forgotten it, but... No, no, I can hear worse than a regular human. It'd be kind of sick if I could get him replaced and hear better than the average human, though. But I guess that's all handled by the brain. We're not very good at replacing brain. This is it. This is the spot. Right over there. Boom! Oh, it was the spot! I'm so good at the game. I mean, you know, would have been even better if I killed something, I suppose. No, I'm gonna go. Lows, lows, lows. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that was uh, that was something. That, that yeah, you know what? I can confirm that that was something. Hello, oh my. Well, God, that was some good casting you did together with Piglo Pog. Also, you'll. <laughs> Thank you, Eliminator. Also for the compliment. Thank you, Sport, for the 69-month resub. I appreciate you. I mean, this game didn't look good, but he lost so many Metavex, though. Like, that game kind of felt like it was over, but that's because you kind of make the assumption that Metavex and Marines are free, right? As a Zerk player, I'm gonna blow you guys' mind right now for fellow Zerk players out there, right? 
Here's the thing. Medivex and the Marines, and to a further extent, even Zealot run bys, they do cost resources. Zealot run bys are not free. Marine drops cost money. What? I know, I know. This is insane. I think what this guy did is basically lose all of his Medivex for, like, la 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 la, I'm not listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fairly sure what happened in this game is that uh, my Terran opponent, if it would have microed his effects a bit better, he would have been okay. And he dropped me all over the map, but like, yeah, so he killed a lot of drones, he did a lot of damage, and I derped pretty hard. Oh yeah, I lost my natural too, that was pretty dumb. Uh, so how did I lose my natural again? I don't quite get it. So these guys have guns? And then what? They shoot guns at buildings, and then the buildings burn? How does that make any sense? I swear I sent units over here, though. Oh, okay, well, I did. <laughs> I sent three Zerklings and three Roaches, that's pretty good. Yeah, if only I had two to five spores per base, man. Okay, I was actually surprised my base died. Because I did send units there, but I guess I didn't send enough. Yeah, but even at this point, I'm still fine, though. He's only at 44. Man with gun is OP, dude. Like, my, my roach is specced into acid. Now, throwing acid at one another is kind of OP. But... I don't know. Yeah, so basically, all this time, right? Four Metafex, 60 Marines have gone down. Yeah, so they're actually kind of pricey. So I did lose more than him, but I was also mining way more. So this fight felt a bit funky, but I figured it was okay. Yeah. Okay. Chaotic ending to a game in the EPT North America. Oh, I have these. Gun. Oh, he's got the better concave, better grenades as well. Actually, those were really good grenades from Clem on the back. I have to replace. Dion, actually, hang on. Hang on. Clem's grenades might have won the day. Yes, it looks like they have. Oh, my goodness. The two grenades at the end turned the fight. <laughs> Cute little engagement right there. Look, go check your subreddit. I posted a banger about Denmark. Oh yeah, I saw that one actually. I did see that one. It was actually pretty funny. Welcome all colors, all sexes, all orientations, all religions, all cultures, all abilities, all ages, all sizes, except the Danish. Love lives here. That's beautiful, man. That is, uh, this is probably somewhere in Sweden or Norway or something, yeah. I'm not exactly sure what the problem is with people from Denmark, or in Denmark with people from Sweden, or in Sweden with people from Norway, or in Norway with people from... De I'm not sure. I don't quite understand what's happening there, but it's okay. I thought Denmark was the happiest place to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Denmark is considered to be the happiest country overall. The thing is, though, they tried to quantify happiness. Now, they did come up with some metrics. I actually got a book. I bought a book specifically on Denmark and happiness. Yeah, so like you have, but you have to quantify happiness. What, what does that mean? How do you attach a number to happiness? Anyways, all that really mattered though in those lists of happiness is that the Netherlands ranked higher than Belgium. So that's pretty good. <sighs> when Loco starts stealth games, how Loco finishes stealth games? <laughs> You're not wrong, dude. I lose patience at some point, okay? I saw a great video on bots in RuneScape. Well, I saw part of it. Chat GPT is about to destroy RuneScape. Your move, Jagex. There is changing in the world right now, and it's creeping into RuneScape. A couple days ago, okay, okay, I got yeah, we all get what ChatGPT is, right? Isn't the only tip off I've gotten about accounts having slightly strangely intelligent conversations within the last week. So, so, so basically, basically, bots in RuneScape. They've always been a thing, right? Very commonly, do you see bots in MMORPGs? But apparently now bots are starting to have full-on conversations using those algorithms. Started doing some research and got in touch with someone who not only knew the answer, but was willing to show me. So I went to meet up with an account of his in Lumbridge Graveyard. Everything you see this account type is generated by a large language model called ChatGPT 3.5. I'm sure you've all heard of it by now. 
I ask what it likes about RuneScape. It says the grind and sense of accomplishment and leveling up skills and completing, but gets cut off. I think completing quests. And then I ask what it doesn't like about RuneScape. It says combat RNG hits not based on skill, bots ruining the economy, and unbalanced <laughs> PvP. I love the fact that a bot answers that it thinks bots are ruining the economy. That's so funny. And then a random player joins in the conversation and says, hey, what's up? Notice this doesn't mess up the bot, meaning it can hold a conversation while other players talk around. It. Then I ask if the bot hates RuneScape bots. It says, yeah, hate bots, ruins the grind and devalues items. I ask who its favorite RuneScape player is. It says, I don't know, to be honest. I usually solo and don't talk much, but I respect Wooks' skills. Then I push further and actually ask it who is Wooks and who is Bodhi. And it gives a very accurate description of both people. <laughs> then I ask what it thinks of Sir Pugger, and that's when things get creepy. I think that's this guy's channel. Yeah, Sir Pugger is he. Very quickly. Sick, sick content. I love you, Sir Pugger. Okay, okay, hold up. It responded, sick, sick content. I love you, Sir Pugger. But that implies it knows I'm Sir Pugger, which it wouldn't. It doesn't intake usernames. So I thought the guy running the bot was messing with me, but he literally immediately sent me the entire chat log from the site that connects to ChatGPT's API that he's using. And it, it was the bot. That's creepy good. I would never suspect that was a bot. And the more I learned, the worse it got. The person showed me the prompt being used. In other words, the context botters are feeding chat GPT to use to respond, which is respond in less than 70 characters as an average OSRs player without being too chatty and do not mention open AI or chat GPT and do not use proper grammar. Now this prompt is super important because it's totally customizable. Each botter can edit it for each bot or each bot farm. Meaning each bot or bot farm can have different responses and personalities. It can be edited so that the bot specifically responds about what it's doing. For example, you know, it's running a phishing script. It can here's the real kicker. I've been thinking about this. You can literally have video games, especially MMORPGs that are filled with people that you wouldn't be able to distinguish from people. Like they would, you could literally have MMORPGs that currently don't have a high population at all and have intelligent conversations with them. Yeah, you can quite literally run dungeons in, I don't know, World of Warcraft, for example, with bots rather than humans. And you know what? They would probably do a better job. Be told to respond like it's a RuneScape player bored of fishing, or it could respond like a grumpy player who's angry at Jagex, whatever it is. So the real question is, is ChatGPT 3.5 already good enough to trick players? And if so, what are the implications? So I found a couple other people using bots hooked up to ChatGPT to find out, which we'll get into right after this. Listen up, this sponsor so, is pretty- I, I guess you can have like a full on conversation. So, life isn't good. Constant. Oh yeah, yeah, hold up. Male voice and the screen goes red when the bot's talking. Life isn't good. Constant deaths. No luck. So this is the bot. Broke. I don't want a kid anymore. Not interested in raising a child. <laughs> Iron Man sucks. Iron Man is bad. WTF is the point? Why even bother? But they have cool things next to their name. What cool things do they have next to their name? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I hate myself lol. Feeling depressed about my progress in the game. So there's people out there that are having full conversations while fishing in RuneScape with bots and they can't tell that they're having a conversation with bots. There could be bots talking to bots. There's no way of knowing. You could have literal conversations between bots and it makes the world feel like it's alive. So, so far the bot seems very agreeable and rephrases a lot of what is said, but even that seemed to trick all the players around it. And here's more footage I was sent. This time, the context prompt Respond the as a grumpy player. be a grumpy RuneScape player. Combat stats, bud. What's the point? 77 mage, 53 defense. Why you no know have 99 mage yet shake my head? I started a month ago and wanted to fish, mine, smith, and craft. You start game, you PVM -er noob, you don't know how to play. Very nice. Level crafting. Why you no level up crafting faster? Shake my head. Smithing level, please. Level mining. Get lost, noob. Go mine yourself. You start an ultimate Iron Man and get to 30 smithing. I dare you. No, thank you. Waste of time. So why are you complaining? Stop wasting my time with useless questions. Definitely going on the bad list. You are playing RuneScape. Where is there use in any of this? No point to this. Waste of time. Right. <laughs> 
Botbot name, I liked you. Don't annoy me so I ignore you. Quit whining and play the game. <laughs> Not only did none of the players in the conversation get suspicious, but the bot literally roasted the players and argued with them for a good three minutes without raising suspicion. And this isn't even ChatGPT4, which is supposed to be leaps ahead of this 3.5 model. Honestly, it's kind of hard to believe this is a bot, but if you've used ChatGPT, you probably believe it. And everyone who sent me footage also sent me logs of these conversations. What are the implications of all of this? Now that you all know- You could literally have full on MMORPG worlds though, full of players that you can't distinguish from actual players. I'm sure, pretty sure people got sus. Yeah, but like, obviously maybe that's right now, right? Like these conversation models aren't gonna, they aren't gonna get worse, they're gonna get better is out there implanted in runescape bots you could watch out for it but unfortunately the bots will soon be hooked up to chat gpt4 and then eventually a chat gpt5 or 6 as the war between jagex and the botters escalates if jagex's detection gets better <laughs> it's only natural to think it is really kind of an idea that's interesting but also a bit scary yeah how does chat gpt play the game though it's to hide bots, right? Like, people can obviously report if they suspect that you're a bot. But if they're having a conversation, like, basically the way people determine whether or not they're talking to, uh, or, or they're, you know, playing with a bot is by looking at their nickname and their behaviors in general. But bots up to this point haven't talked back. I don't, I don't really talk in RuneScape ever, no. I play RuneScape and I never have a conversation with anybody. <laughs> Maybe private messages, but... It's just, uh, it's just kind of an interesting idea. Maybe I'm a bot, man. Yeah. Elon Musk revealed he's making $120,000 a month in Twitter subscription revenue, according to this screenshot. Oh, this over here. Wait, people are subscribing to Elon Musk on Twitter and give him five bucks a month? I mean, you know what? As a Twitch streamer, I understand people paying, you know, a subscription and a monthly fee. I get that, right? I think it's really cool, actually, because you can support people. But I, the richest man in the world, or however rich the guy is right now, 24.7k. So he himself is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get bonus content. <laughs> $5 a month smile, low V. God. Do you think Elon can even notice if it's, if it's 120,000 more or less every month? I'm not sure how, I don't know how these guys pay them, so I don't know how it works at this level. I feel like he doesn't notice it. Anyways, thank you very much Gregory for the 38 month resub, I appreciate you. So you need 136 million followers for, that's, that's a lot of followers guys. Yeah, I remember that Methanas, that was a couple years ago, that was pretty funny. They really wanted one of those uh, Kardashian girls to be the world's youngest self-made billionaire. So people started donating a lot of money to her, so she could be the low. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. Anyways, Loco pretending not to be a billionaire. No, no, no. I'm definitely uh, a multi-billionaire, of course. But why would anybody subscribe to my Twitter? I believe I have that thing enabled right now as well that allows me to monetize my Twitter or something, so people can subscribe to my Twitter. But like, why would anybody do that? Yeah, yeah. I submitted an application. Your application has been submitted. Why would anybody do that? I'm not sure. Like, I think they assumed like one in 10 of your followers becomes a paying subscriber or some shit. Cause it suggested that I could make up to X amount of dollars a month. And it seemed to me that they assumed that like a thousand of my followers or so decide to subscribe to my Twitter. There's no way. Please don't subscribe to my Twitter. That'd be weird. Maybe, I don't know, and, uh, you could if you really want to, if you really feel like it, but free money though, Loco? It could become a meme, right? You never know. Yeah, it could definitely become a meme. I don't use Twitter, it feels like political discussions on family meetings. I think Twitter is fun if you curate your timeline reasonably well. You gotta kinda, like you first off, you never use this tab, okay? The For You tab is, is terrible, don't use that one. Use, use this one instead, right? And then you only follow people that you actually want to watch. And something that you also should definitely do is mute everybody you don't want to hear. So I've got a load of people muted on Twitter, uh, which is really nice. Highly recommend it. <laughs> Muting is, um, is kind of mandatory. You can even ban certain words too. So say like you don't want to hear anybody using the word Trump, right? Which, you know, I guess is a, a verb. But anyways, not really used in that way anymore. Uh, you could just, you know... 
ban the entire word, which is kind of nice. Yeah. But if you just kind of let Twitter do its own thing, right? You just kind of let Twitter just do its own shit, it's going to be a disaster. You muted the word Fortnite? <laughs> I always question, should I log into Twitter and then two-factor authentic uh, authentication comes up and I'm too lazy to continue? Fair enough. Yeah, maybe you can just mute the letter E. Any tweet with the letter E will just disappear. That sounds kind of fun. You know what's really messed up, guys? I told Loran about the polygamy mod in this game. And literally two hours later, she mentioned she was thinking about starting up a new playthrough of Stardew herself as well. Okay, I'm making it a little more dramatic than it is, guys. Uh, the polygamy mod basically allows you to marry everybody at once, simultaneously. Even the wizard? I guess. I've never played with it, but... As far as gameplay goes, it sounds kind of fun. As far as real life goes, it sounds horrible. But hey. <laughs> it is kind of fun that somebody has made a mod for that. You can marry Linus? Oh yeah, absolutely. Getting her a gift at this point has become difficult, guys. It's been too long. Get her a sub on your channel. Ooh. That is a truly loving gift. No, I already got a gift. I already got something. I could get her a microwave. Ooh, that's love. What did you get, Loco? Nice try. Nice try. I found her alternate ID chat. I figured it out. I was gonna get her tickets to this musical thing, but then she bought it herself and she's like, hey, I got us tickets for this musical thing. I was like, okay, great. That was literally my one and only plan. I finally came up with something in advance. I was really proud of myself too, man. Like I actually came up with an idea by myself. We're actually going tomorrow. Her birthday isn't for another couple of weeks, but we're actually going to see this musical tomorrow. Should be kind of fun. For our anniversary this year, we're going to the ballet. Someone shoot me. Lauren wanted to go see this, this ballet as well. Um, we, we, we went to go see it last year. I felt very out of place, but she really wanted to go. So I was like, okay, fine. Zwanemir is what it's called in Dutch. It was really expensive too, man. I had no idea. Well, I mean, I think it was like 60 bucks for one ticket. Zwanemir. Uh, what's the English name? Swan Lake? Is that the English name? Does this say anything to anybody? Anyways, um, we found out neither of us liked it. <laughs> but at least now we know. <laughs> there were a lot of guys in very tight pants in that, in that show, dude. It was, uh, they were, they were having a good time. Me, not so much. For Mother's Day, I'm buying my wife binoculars so she can watch the birds outside our house. I'm either amazed or horrible at getting gifts. I think that's pretty good. Although that does sound like a gift that, you know, you will use more than your wife. You know, I don't know, I don't know your wife, but there is a chance that that is one of those gifts that you're accidentally buying for yourself, even though that wasn't the intention. <laughs> okay, she loves looking at birds. Okay, okay, fair. No, I don't know his wife. No, I don't know his wife, believe it or not. I know I'm a guy in the chat, but still. You're getting binoculars that are way too nice. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to buy your wife a nice gift and suddenly you find yourself on the binocular subreddit You look at their frequently asked questions and you have a top five list and the cheapest one starts at $3.99 Is this what happened? Because that would happen to me every time I try and think of anything Like okay, well, this is definitely not what I needed I saw some of Amazon that were like 30 bucks and now I'm considering that they're actually trash <laughs> Your girlfriend wants a 4080? That's a good gift. That's a real good gift, man. Top five flower recommendations? Oh God. Amazon gift card, problem solved? No, 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 no. Amazon gift card is not problem solved, man. That is problem delayed. That is a problem all on its own, man. <laughs> See, I would appreciate an Amazon gift card. That sounds pretty great. But that's also... <laughs> that, that could also be... An issue. Surprise, honey, it's your birthday. An Amazon gift card. I don't know, man. The best gift I received was a mug my boyfriend made when we were at college. That sounds really sweet. Lemonade here with the perfect relationship. Ew. Gross. Self-made gift. Okay, guys, it's almost time for our date. At the beginning of day eight, I got a letter in the mail from Leia. Or, what's her name? Penny. I got my girlfriend's name wrong. Okay, well, at least we practiced it before the date began. I got a letter in the mail from Penny saying that I needed to meet her at the bathhouse. 
This was a trial run, it doesn't count. At the bathhouse, past, or in the evening, past, past sundown or whatever is what it said. It happens to the best of us. I don't recommend doing that in real life though, it's a bad idea. Okay, well, I think the sun's pretty far down right now, 6.30 p.m. That could have gotten real awkward, but... Okay, I've been working all day, I smell of horse. What a perfect day. Oh, dude, this is kind of smart. Before my, uh, before my date, I could go and uh, lift some weights, you know? Makes my biceps and my chest look huge. You're too weak to lift it? Yo, what the f Okay, fine. There I am, man. Oh, God. Chat, look away. There you are. I was worried you didn't get my note. What is this? This is certainly new. I have not seen this before. It looks like we're alone. Yes, Betty. Yes. The water feels so good after being out in the cold of night, doesn't it? Do you know why I asked you here tonight? <sighs> you have something to tell me? I'm not exactly sure. You wanted to see me in my bathing suit. <laughs> why are you guys all posting threes in the chat? What's up with that, guys? Okay, fine. No! How do I say this? Oh god, chat. This is every guy's worst nightmare. We may have interpreted all the signs completely wrong. Oh god, we f***ed it up, man. How do I say this? Oh, dude. I've been meaning to tell you for a while now about how I feel. Oh god. I just got friendzoned, I think. I can't stop thinking about- Oh, we did it! I've never felt this way about anyone. Is it because of all the diamonds? Sorry, but I- <laughs> Okay, fine. Oh, Loco, I thought you did, but I wasn't sure. I'll always remember this night. Yo, caught live on camera, man. Now we're married, no? That's how that works. That was the end of the scene? We didn't get to see what happened after that? Well then, Loco, you dog. I'm just saying it's two hours later right now, guys. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna get banned on Twitch for a week. That'd be well worth it. If you say you're reading anime, how do you read anime? Do you get the actual books? Or do you get like a PDF? Or is it like a, a Kindle? Or like, how do people read anime in 2023? Or sorry, manga. 5 IQ. <laughs> yeah, I bring up anime and suddenly all the moderators are here? God. My moderators are weeps, man. <laughs> What's up, Drone Rush? <laughs> That's a very good point. Online for me, sort of like a PDF? I see. I feel like it's kind of fun to own the... Like, if you're gonna read manga, isn't it kind of fun to own the manga actual books type of things? Or how does that even work? I'm assuming you can buy them quite easily. Although, I don't know. I found out that buying... Anime shows is difficult. It's too many volumes. Yeah, okay, so it becomes a collecting kind of thing. Okay, I see. Manga collection. There's probably a subreddit for this. Yep, slash r slash manga collectors. This is the first thing I see. Okay, um, let's go to top rated of all time. I see. You need a whole, you need, dude, this is huge. You need your house, dude. I don't even have a room that big in my home. The manga usually differ from the show, and each volume is about 10 and if you don't have a publisher that does regular printing it's really difficult to get manga out of Japan. I see, I see. Dude, it's 20 photos. This guy has a kitchen island for, for manga. So how much is one book, like roughly? How much is like a regular price for one... Volume, I guess is what you would call it, for Attack on Titan. Like 10 bucks? 10 bucks? Okay. Yeah, this guy has accidentally become... He's, he's accidentally made his own library. This is kind of cool, though. See, I'm kind of scared of going down the rabbit hole. Wow, look at this. 11 months. Almost a whole year. Like, I'm afraid I would like it, you know? <laughs> for being awesome logo. Rule one? What's rule one? Hentai and suggestive content are to be marked as not suitable for work. Fair enough. Hey, thank you very much, Raiden. For the 11. Ooh, dude, that is hype. Look at that. 
See, that is cool. I like that a lot. I have no idea what, what this is. But that's like a f art piece now. Yeah. This you could actually put in your living room and people wouldn't be, you know, thinking you're too weird. Maybe a little bit, but... What's up, Papuch? That's the first season of Naruto? Oh, it's the first season. Oh, sh It's not the whole thing. Oh, there's a little cat. That's not fair, man. My wife and I have finally moved our 2500 volumes to a dedicated manga room. Dude, that is genuinely kind of sick. The thing is, though, the only way you can have a room like this is if your wife or your partner in general is on board. <laughs> like, imagine having limited space in your place, right? Which I guess is the case for 99.9% .9 of people. And you have one room dedicated just for your manga. Yeah, the term manga room kind of irks me a little bit. She doesn't need to know. All right, then. You have, like, a secret room behind a... I don't know. Staircase? Yeah, this guy's run out of space though, because he's also double layering. Double layering a bookcase sucks, because then you can't find anything. So wait, one of those... One of those books is roughly 10 bucks? That's surprisingly reasonable though. Am I wrong? That doesn't sound too bad. These are sealed by the way. <laughs> Guy walked into class today, gave me all the Helsing for free. Because we talk about manga every day in class together? Yo, I don't wanna, I don't wanna... I, I know exactly what this is, uh, you know. Alright, I see where this goes. Yeah, no, I see, I get it. Ooh. Okay, that's actually kinda neat. Yeah, it's like a bookshop. I've always kinda liked that, though, in general. I think it looks good, but like, the thing is, then you have to, you know... The, the problem with like having a lot of books, right, like physical copies, is that you rarely reread a book. Like, there will be some books you'll reread, I guess. But for most of the, at least most books I've ever read, I just kinda have them, and then I keep them around, even though I plan on doing absolutely nothing with them in the future. So you can just kind of keep them for the collection, but yeah, yeah, they get dusty too. Yeah, I haven't been here for a while. Let's see. Mechanical keyboards are worth five hundred dollars because they will last a lifetime. Then why do you have more than one? Yeah, <laughs> that's a very good point. Yeah, keyboard guys in the chat, if they're supposed to, uh, you know, if they're supposed to outlast you, then why do you have multiples? Yeah, building your own keyboard. Dude, they're not really even... They're not even really sharing pictures of keyboards. What's going on? I expected pictures of keyboards. What is this? Who takes a photo like this? This guy's just showing off his lower arm veins. What, what's going on here? Is this how you normally take a picture of a keyboard? Is this normally done in the... Yeah? The giga chats of the gaming community, dude. They sit in the sauna for 20 minutes, do a couple of bicep curls, and then they take a photo. <laughs> that keyboard's like 40 pounds. I see how it is. A little bit of forearm flex going on, yeah. It's pretty cool. Slash r slash custom keyboards is better. Custom keyboards. Let's see. Oh, this is... Okay, actual pictures of custom keyboards? This is the first thing I see. Oh, no. Okay, fine. Top... All time. Okay, we get actual pictures of key- Oh god, okay. He included a booty shot? Jesus. Damn, that's kinda hot. Okay. That's a lot of keyboards, man. So what's the difference from keyboard to keyboard? Are, do you think they're mostly different switches? I guess they probably are all different switches and they probably feel slightly different. The colors are different? Really? The perfect keyboard for Among Us. Ooh. Why does it look tiny? What's going on here? That's kind of cute. That is kind of... This is a Protoss player keyboard right here, man. That's all you need. Honestly, it's too big. They could cut off the right half. It only has one through six. Nobody uses... No, There's no Protoss out there using more than six, six buttons for, for control groups. 
He doesn't need- oh yeah, there's no F2 button. That's a good point. No F2 button. Hmm. No numpad? <laughs> These guys are way beyond the no numpad crowd, okay? I am also a strong believer in no numpad usage. These guys are, are way stronger believers of that. Numpad is, uh... What is up with this? I have seen this in photos before. I mean the collect- or the connector. Why is the connector like this? Is it just so you can, like, unscrew it and plug in another keyboard without doing the whole cable? Is that the only reason? It's a quick disconnect? To change keyboards faster? Okay, because I was- I was wondering about that, man. It kind of reminds me of, like, an electric guitar amp. A quick swap. Fair. Ooh, a Pokemon one. I feel like this looks really cool until you're actually trying to play a game and then you constantly blind yourself with your LEDs. Yeah, building your own keyboard is actually expensive, man. Ooh, there it is. The sophisticated gamer. If you have ever girl over on a first date or whatever, this, this is what does it, man. Girls love guys that have their mechanical keyboards with little plants uh, hung up on the, the wall. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is, this is where it happens. When I have girls over, I hide my anime collectibles. Do you really, Sudden Yoda? That's amazing. This is for the real, the real numpad connoisseurs. Like, separate numpads. This is when you know you're a hardcore numpad user. Yeah. When I have girls over, I hide my anime collectibles. That's fantastic. Are we throwing shade at numpad users? No, no, no. I'm not a numpad user myself, but I understand that some people like to play games like this with their eyes or their arms tilted outwards like that, you know? I I prefer having my wrist in line with my with my arms, but you know, numpad users like it like it's okay. I'm not throwing shade. <laughs> You're doing push-ups. You you use your mouse and keyboard like this. That's amazing. You don't have a standing desk. You just have it up to your armpits. <laughs> That's smart. I find numpad very overrated, yeah. Yoga for the wrists? Oh, okay. Yo, family friendly show, Shy Guy. You wanna cancel me for not being a numpad user? That sounds like a worthwhile cancel, to be honest. StarCraft 2 ladder games using only numpad? No, numpads are... Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm not usually a fan, but... Then again, I don't have a real job. I have a fake job. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I didn't really need to go in there, but I felt like I had enough stuff there. Oh, I remember this photo! He posted a photo on the Discord server. Man, look at- look at- <laughs> Happy birthday, King Logo. Wow. Wow. I almost looked at the camera. Very nice. Four out of ten. Almost saw the camera lens. That's awesome, man. Uh, home story cups are so much fun. Loco looks very stoned. No, no, definitely not. You can even see Dennis in the background. Take himself. This is the kitchen right over here. This is usually where to set this. So right behind this pillar is usually where, like, the... The stream recording is. Who's the guy sitting on the floor? I don't know. <laughs> this is just the guy sitting on the floor. The pizza is made right over here. This is where the... The kitchen area is. Home Story Cup's actually a lot of fun. I hope they're gonna do another one. When you play against... <laughs> when you play against Protos on the ladder. <laughs> this is so stupid, man. What's up? <laughs> Why am I? I don't know. What was wrong here, guys? Why do I look? Yeah, why do I look so f***ed up? I don't know. Loco is ripped. What in this picture gives? Hey, this is. <laughs> There's another picture. See, now I look at the camera. What am I doing? What is going on here?
I'm not sure. Pre-Crisis Loco? No, I think this is not uh, pre-Crisis. I think this is the most recent one. I think it's Home Story Cup 22. Loco, check Discord chat again. Oh, God. Three out of ten. Three out of ten. That was an attempt. <laughs> what are these... <laughs> This is before anybody looked at the camera. <clears throat> Let's do it. Okay, chat, take notes. My character knows how to dance. Where am I? Oh, there I am with my pink hat, of course. Okay, yes. Step forward, right, 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 step forward. Oh, fast steps. Good. God, this goes fast, man. I'm tired. This is the whole move? This is all we're doing? I can do it. <sighs> that was amazing. Yeah, time to go home. That was, that was great. So I remember in the previous game, there were some optimization things as well on the PC that were a little funky. But on some worlds, it was much better than on others. So I want to see how this game plays when you get to a different location, you know? Because there's a good chance it will run smoother when there aren't that many moving parts, but... It would still be a little, little ridiculous, obviously. Can I go over? What am I doing? I gotta take out one of those things, but how in the world would I take out a flying ship? Maybe I just have a knack for, like, finding the worst parts of a game. There's definitely a chance that I am just really good at somehow breaking the game. By playing it in the only unanticipated and unintended way. <laughs> eighty dollars. It's eighty euro, not Brian. That's like ninety dollars. But that fire also looks very mediocre, no? Look how jittery it is. Look at the fire. I don't know if it looks the same on stream as it does for me, but like... Oh, here's the Night Sister again. Casters! I thought you were gonna be the final boss. Oh, not the case. Let's spice what am I even... How, how am I fighting this? Can I parry? Oh shit. Quit playing games. <laughs> no! I don't want to quit playing games! This is what I do for a living! Let's play a game! Oh, okay. Well, she said the same thing. First she said, stop playing games, and now... Okay, I'm trying to parry her, but it doesn't seem to do anything. I'm not sure what the problem is. There we go. That was a parry, I guess. Impressive, but you're hurting bad inside, Kestis. I can sense it. All oh, the guilt you're feeling for those fools you led to their deaths makes you so, so predictable. Oh, this, oh, this will be good. She's like a fucking Dragon Ball Z character now. Whoa, 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 whoa. So wait, is she allowed? Like, if Jedis are not allowed. The sisters are a Vader project? Oh, okay. What am I... I don't know. What am I doing with these fights? How am I fighting this?
I don't understand what I'm doing here. Because I'm trying to hit parries, right? Let me try and see if I can hit a parry. I don't think I can. I am one hit away from dying right now. Okay. Dual stance acquired. You can now use dual stance in combat. Dual stance allows for fast strikes and upgradable force parry, but offers less total stamina. So wait, do I respawn in the middle of fights? Or like, how does this... I was on one HP there for a really long time. No, I do not get to respawn in that fight. Yeah, so everybody is talking about the terrible performance of this game on the PC. But like, if this is supposed... I'm playing on the PS5, right? Like, if this is supposed to be... The clapping going. The good performance... Whoa, that loading in is wild. Oh, I forgot about my uh, my mullet. The game, it like, it doesn't look, look at my face right now. It doesn't even look that good. The gameplay has been really fun, but it, it, it has severe performance problems. What is that? What is going on right now in the background? What is that? F yeah, so they specify we are aware that Star Wars Jedi Survivor isn't performing to our standards for a percentage of our PC players. And uh, with percentage of PC players, they mean 98%. It's, uh, you know, they, they, uh, it's, it's a small amount. It, it's okay. And EA already doesn't have the highest standards, man. Their standards are pretty low. Anyways, for example, and this is a weird one, players using cutting edge multi-threaded uh, chipsets designed for Windows 11 were encountering problems on Windows 10. Are they saying it's the fault of the player? Is that what they're insinuating here? Like, I'm reading this, I read this this morning. There's, that's weird. Yeah, it's, hmm. Rest assured, we are working to address these cases quickly. Anyways, um, I'm playing on the PS5. It seems like they uh, think that this is uh, acceptable performance on the PlayStation. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, that's your fault, man, for using Windows, Ele or Windows 10 rather than Windows 11. You've been without a gaming PC for 10 years? Dang. Got a lot of good games to catch on, dude. To catch up on. Power still running down. Oh, you're just getting a new I computer. Gotcha. You've been on the old computer for 10 years. I see. What's that? Uh, there's a giant circle. Well. I figured that would be it. <laughs> oh no, a puzzle, guys. Does this blue thing do anything? Ha! Ah. Not bad. Think we could walk on that? I wouldn't risk it if it was my life, Cal, but it's yours, so I think we're good. Careful, BD. Sorry, it has come to this. Will it be a complete memory purge? No. Only what the council demanded. Just a partial one. I shall remember you. I am ready. So this is through the eyes of a robot type of thing. What is your name, droid? 
I am CNA4, of course. How may I serve the order? Z. Tell me how to navigate the Kobo Abyss. I have no information on that in my memory banks. Master Kree. You are aware the Republic has issued a full-scale evacuation order. I am. That is why I have a very important task for you, Z. She's actually called Zet yes. in the UK. The tuna. Oh, what a fine model. Use that to open the forest array. Travel underground. Stop for no one. That is an order, Z. Am I not coming with you? No. The key to Tanalor is in that array. If you do not hurry, I fear it will be lost forever. The key to Tanalor? May the force be with you. Santari Kari? That's her name? Okay. So how did you just see that, mate? I think this droid has been here for hundreds of years. Is your name Z? Yes, it is. How is it? The music in this game and just the voice acting and all that is amazing, though. Love the sound effect. How long has it been? The audio team has done a fantastic job. I'm Cal. This is BD. We're gonna help you. Pleasure to meet you both. Some help would be most appreciated. Yeah, occasionally my man Cal here gets a um a vision, I guess, of things. When he gets close to them. We don't really know exactly how, I don't think, but... As meteors streak across Kobo sky, Santari Kuri charges the droid ZNA-4, or Z, or ZNA-4, to recover the key to Tanalor from the forest array. Unbeknownst to Z, Master Kree just purged all knowledge of how to navigate the Kobo Abyss from the droid's memory banks. Can I get another one of those balls over there? Is that possible? No, I'm probably gonna have to pass along. This one, right over here. Yeah, I guess it's a unique skill. Am I supposed to be able to grab that from here? No, hitting things with a lightsaber is probably not ideal. I can try and hit her with a lightsaber. The orb coupler. That must be this thing right over here. Can I... Can I throw my thing? No. Request a hint. Let's see. How does it work? It looks like the orbs activate these bridges. <laughs> I figured that one out, mate. I just need another orb. Have I bugged the game? No, no, no. I'm just very good at not figuring out puzzles that are seemingly very obvious for everybody. So I put one of those orb balls over there. One of those orb things came out of the wool. I'm gonna need to get another one of those orbs out of a wool somewhere else. And put them in these locations. Where do I get the orbs from, though? Anyone any suggestions? Feel free to play along, by the way. I uh, sometimes get stuck on these really dumb puzzles. If you have any calls, uh, feel free to help me along. I can jump through that thing? I don't think I can, I can climb up here, no. Oh, well, I can fall down here, in case you were wondering about that. Can I jump up from here? No. Can I just jump across the chasms? I don't think so. Well, I can try. Can 
Can I wall run across this? No. Can I get a stem BD? I take five steps and I get stuck again, guys. Absolute classic. Yeah, I don't know where to go, Eliminator. I'm a little confused by some of these puzzles sometimes. That's nothing new, though. That's nothing to do with the game. That's definitely a loco thing. So I tried using pool to recover the first ball. This is pool right over here. There was another orb behind the gate. Another orb? So there's one orb that came out over there. Oh, there's one behind over there? What the? F uh, I need to definitely be able to grab that somehow, but how in the world would I push away those bars? That's crazy hard to see. Am I cra- Okay, I didn't realize I could make that. I feel like reusing this ball is a good idea, but... Can I make this jump over here then? Because I definitely have to get across somehow. No. Somebody must have completed this game by now. Or, or this section at the very least. I can't pull out the orb. I, I, I can't pull this one out. Uh, I can't really watch YouTube videos while I'm streaming this game on the PlayStation 5, bunny. I, I can't watch that. This one, this one is no longer accessible somehow. Wait, the guy in the video pulls this orb? Huh? I did the same thing so many times. Oh, wait, I can... more of a poncho guy this is my pulling button though this is what I tried doing already though right how did I just do it you can pull it from the other side this is my pull button no am I doing it wrong l2 is the button I use right this is what I've been using the entire game long so far. There's no way this is the intended solution. I did it once just now, but I don't know how. Yeah, I pulled it... Uh I pulled it while I was on the bridge earlier. Did I break things? Again? Huh? I did the same thing 17 times. Seriously, I did the same thing. Over and over and over again. Lock on doesn't work. No, I can't lock on. Lock on is R3. This is what happens when I hit R3. It just centers in whatever direction Kao is facing. Why am I so good at breaking games? Loco, don't stand on the bridge. If you pull it, you fall. That's my whole problem, though. I can't pull it. I understand that the bridge is not the location where I eventually want to be able to pull it. But I'm trying to understand how I... You know, the pull-out mechanic. How does it work? Do you think it's just bugged? I don't understand. Maybe I have to stand closer here? The f*** am I doing wrong? Okay, I'm gonna reload things. Last saved 18 minutes ago? No, I'm holding the button over here. It doesn't change anything. But how did I do it a couple of times? Yeah, EA told me it's basically my fault now. So how did it work twice? I accidentally did it twice. Mate. Okay, I guess I'll have to go all the way back. I mean, it's not like I really was moved very far forward, but... 
Maybe I should have installed Windows 11 on my PlayStation 5. Yeah, I think it must have bugged out. So my first instinct was to try and pull the orb across, but I, it didn't work. So I tried every other option. And then apparently what I tried first was actually the correct call. It's just bugged. Okay, we're back here. Let's see if we can Pull. Push. Bridge activates. Here's that th robot. Can I skip it? I can skip it, okay. We didn't have to go too far back. I was stuck there for 18 minutes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, great. Um, if it works the first time right now, I'm gonna be very surprised. Okay. What am I? What is the problem, mate? What am I doing wrong? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at that video Bunny Warren linked me. He just pulls it. I just reloaded. Bro, EA, come on, man! I paid eighty euro for your game. Why is it so bad? Seriously. Um. So what do I do? I already quit. Yeah, this game is 80 euro. No, it's definitely not my controller, Formless Void, because I just activated it once. I pulled it from there, and then I put it over there. I should be able to pull it again. It's definitely not my controller, man. It's 100% the game. The guy just walks over here and pulls that randomly. What in the world, dude? Okay, I will try one more thing. Um, I will go all the way back over here. Can I- how do you close the game? I guess I can start up another game that will probably... Close the one that I have over there. No, they never sent me a key for the game. They- they reached out a month ago and asked if I wanted a key. So I was like, yes please, and then they never sent me one. <laughs> Which is also kind of weird, I don't know. We didn't start off on the best foot, me and Jedi uh, Survivor or whatever the f game is called. So I ended up buying the game. I got baited by EA, yeah. Um, it's okay, I think something must have gone wrong. I didn't really try too hard either, but... It's... It's a little funny. Okay, so I closed the game. We're rebooting the entire thing. There's people on the EA forums with the exact same problem of not being able to pull the orb after the cutscene. Okay, so did they figure out a solution? What? They didn't? Wait, for real? They didn't- wait, they just didn't find a solution? <laughs> so what? They just- I just restarted the full game, yes. If this doesn't work, I am out of ideas. <laughs> there's- there's nothing else. Oh, they, some of them restarted the entire game? They just began a new playthrough? I've- okay, okay, so someone's suggesting my controller doesn't work. It works, look, I grabbed the thing. Then, I move it over here, right? We throw it in there. Not bad. We could walk on that. I can't remove it. You're stuck in a cutscene halfway across the bridge. No, you can't remove it earlier. EA game testers are sweating bullets right now? You think EA has game testers? Mate, I am a paying customer and I'm the game tester. Back in my day, a beta tester for a game was a paid position, but these days you're paying customers are your beta testers. It's insane. Really clever. Okay. You are a Jedi. Or are my photo receptors completely shot? What did I do? Completely Z. I'm a Jedi, alright. But you're not even wearing the color red. I'm more of a poncho guy. <laughs> what did I do differently? Like, why didn't you try that earlier? I know, mate. I should have just tried that earlier. That's insane. Wait. Some people also have problems with the second orb? They also get stuck on the second orb? Oh, okay. I thought I could jump. I can't jump with that one. Fair enough. Uh, I need to open up the thing somehow. Can I throw the orb? Yeah, yeah.
This is electronic art right here, guys. Respawn at this point must be thinking as well. Guys, what the f***? What? <laughs> Why did we work with you? I'll have you free soon, Z. I did it! That only took 30 minutes longer than it needed to. Fantastic. Maybe it's a puzzle for, uh, you know, your sanity. Just to confirm whether or not... Oh, that's what we're doing, okay. Whether Just or not you can handle it. EA start to sell patches for the game. <laughs> apparently sales are actually not very good for this one so far. In general, apparently the 80 euro price tag they're asking for modern games is hurting sales quite a bit. I don't know if that has to do with macroeconomics where people are just in general are less inclined right now to buy more expensive games, but apparently, uh, yeah, I wonder why, right? That's crazy, I know, insane. Well, this is a Respawn game, right? EA is the publisher. I don't really know exactly how they work together like that. It's, wait, is Respawn owned by EA these days? I actually don't know how it works. You just joined? What's up, Morty? You missed the best part of the stream, dude. I don't have the VODs for my Cyberpunk playthrough, no. I wanted to post that playthrough to more loco. That playthrough, dude, there's some people that think I am complaining in this game the entire time, right? And I apologize, I don't mean to be complaining the entire time, but... If you really want to hear me complain for like 30 hours straight, you should have seen my cyberpunk playthrough. I had like the no nudity filter on. There was a no nudity filter. And I remember a very distinct scene out in the desert in a f like tank or whatever it was. Anyways, I think my uh, micro on these buttons over here to switch out of the out of this. I think it was pretty good. But the tank scene was something truly special, uh, that suddenly wasn't covered anymore by the no nudity, uh, setting in the game. Yeah. I heard Cyberpunk is really good now. But you know what? At the same time, they also made more money than they ever made before, just in the first week of the release, so... You know, marketing, I guess, is just gonna make up for making a game, because people will buy whatever they release again next time, too. You're playing Cyberpunk? Yeah, I heard Cyberpunk is amazing now. Yeah. You would imagine at some point that gaming developers are like, you know what? Let's finish the game before we release it. <laughs> like, seriously, what's the downside? I don't quite understand. It's like, no, 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 no. What about we release a version of the game instead? That's, that's, that would, you know, great idea. Okay, I'm gonna increase my maximum life because every time I've died so far, it's because my health went down to zero. So I've got a feeling if I make it so that my health doesn't go down to zero as quickly, I'll probably live for longer. Indie games, dude, indie games are killing it right now. Yeah. Come Corporate on, overlords demanding deadlines really are just... Ugh. So it's gotta be the same for this one too, man. There's a chance somebody's watching this in like a year from now. This game is probably excellent by then. We're already at 37 subs today? How did we get to 37 subs already? Did we get to 37 subs? Are you for real? I feel like we haven't had 37 subs. Am I crazy? I feel like we had like 15. Czech Benka, Nolan, Ilos, Slightly Drunk Gaming, Kiwi Samurai, Pablo, Mathenes, Hash Avenue, Legend of Doom, White Knight, that's 10, Orbital Wave, Faradel, Mr. One Penguin, Tanzalins, Kits, that's 15, Grey Fox, Dark Rat, Agaring, Andy TV, Flying Lurker, that's 20. Bro, even my daily sub bar is bugged. <laughs> what the f this stream is a disaster, man. This is like a, one of the worst streams I've done over the last month. Let's debug it. Kappa. <laughs> I'm inflating my own net worth. Yeah, man, the Dutch tax authorities are gonna come after me with my inflated sellout bar over here. Hey, thank you very much, Hand up for the 63 months. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I mean, it would not be amazing amazing, but... Bro, the green reflection? Look at this shit. What is this? You can literally count the pixels. There's like 12 of them. Jeez. I wonder if I switch to... I don't want to play on quality mode, but do you think this looks better on quality mode? It's embarrassing, guys. Okay, so performance mode is supposed to prioritize FPS. This is supposed to prioritize graphics. Well, it looks the f same to me. It just now runs at 30 FPS. So it doesn't look like that on the Xbox? It really doesn't? It did look a tiny bit better. 
Look at that reflection. Insane. I feel like it, 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 I would be surprised if the Xbox looks noticeably better, but you know what though, despite the jank, I am still enjoying myself. I don't know for how much longer, but no, Plague Tale Requiem is, the story is jank. The story in this game is intriguing so far. The writers did a good job. The people that made the characters are doing a good job. I think my main character is kind of boring if I'm being honest with you, but all the other characters are interesting. I don't give a shit about Cal if I'm being honest. I mean, I like his mustache, I like his mullet, but that's really where my love for him ends. I care more about BD1, the guy on my back, than I care about Cal. <laughs> I wish I was joking, but uh, yeah, my main character is not very interesting. He's just kind of like your, you know, obvious good guy protagonist. But the other characters are pretty neat. My character looks like he's from the 70s. That's good, right? Check it out, BD. Prior rank. Hey, Muktafus. Number facts. 43 is the smallest non-palindromic prime, which on subtracting its reverse gives a perfect square. 43 to 34 equals 32. Okay, nerd. Jeez. How is 32 a square number, though? Did you just make that it up? If <laughs> you can, you can prove anything. <laughs> How is 43 minus 34 32? <laughs> you know, if you just math enough, if you just use enough math words, I will believe you at some point. But <laughs> that no, no, I don't think that works. Wait, it was correct. You meant something else. Twitch can't write square? Oh, you mean 3 to the s to the power of the- okay. So it wrote 32, but you meant 3 to the second. You're a math major, Echo Soldier? Why do I have a hard time believing it? I don't know. I don't know why I have a hard time believing it. <laughs> this- okay. This- this video over here is fantastic. I clicked on this a couple days ago and I thought it was really funny. Uh, let me just close the music real quick. So this is A Brief History of StarCraft II by David Attenborough. So this is a, um, I think, I think what they did is they, they have like an AI reading stuff. If you join me on this epic journey, and I humbly request your continued interest and support. For those of you who are passionate about delving into the fascinating lore of this game, please consider subscribing and sharing your thoughts in the comment section below on what lore I should explore next. So, without further ado, let us resume our expedition. It's so, so accurate. Of this magnificent world. In the distant reaches of the galaxy, there exists a complex and fascinating world with three primary factions vying for power and control. <laughs> the first are the Terrans, a hardy group of humans who have left their homeworld of Earth to explore and settle new territories. Technological innovation. But for all their advances, the Terrans remain vulnerable and mortal, facing countless threats and dangers in a galaxy filled with hostile forces. It's just so eerily accurate. It's so good. This is what we need AI for. Yeah, yeah, this is this is what we need. Ah, uh, Brenda! Karen! Get out of here! No, this is why you guys have no friends. Blocker! He seems to be very fond of my, uh, my Wolof. I should have probably been droning. So I got a little scared there. Cause like, you may have noticed there were about five dozen units on the front, but I could have just kept droning there. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have to go for an attack. I don't know. This is a bit awkward. I held that pretty easily, but I don't think it was really that great for me. If I can kill that, that'd be nice. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. That 
was a lot of drones I just lost, guys. That's a little more than I anticipated, I'll be honest with you. Plus one is not done yet. Yeah, it finishes right now. Oh, you brought the queens to this party too. So he brought the queens, which is a bit interesting. I actually don't think bringing the queens is a great plan, because he probably doesn't have injects now. I killed his third base too. He can kill my base, that's fine. I was gonna go. Okay. That was a little shaky there. But uh, plus one roaches are pretty good. I figured though, since he sent the queens in, that I was actually... Like, he's got 700 minerals in the bank. I don't think he should have sent in the queens, but... Eh. That was a little closer than it needed to be. <laughs> Does your flag fail? Great... or gray grates the state flag. Hello class, your homework assignment, as the US states that you are, was to make your state flag. A flag to stir pride in your citizens. A flag to stand proud on the American stage. A tough task, though not too tough with the guidelines I gave you upon which you will be graded. 1. Keep it simple, something a child could draw, even if they need to simplify it again. Good enough. 2. Make it distinct at a distance. A flag is not a poster, it's not wallpaper, it's not a patch, it's not money or anything else looked at up close. No tiny details, it's a flag. It'll be be flying from afar among other flags and when the wind I really wish that Gray and Brady would, would continue their podcast. I used to listen to Hello Internet every week. Um, I've been waiting since I think 2019 February or something. Stops, you still need to be able to spot yours. Three, colors or fewer, unless you really know what you're doing, but if you think you do, you probably don't. Four, symbols, have them. Your colors and what you design with them should mean something. It should say something about your citizens. Five, words on a flag. The ideal number is zero. zero. It's a flag, not a note this, that you're passing in this, class. This is where all the American state flags fail. This is why they all get put into F tier. <laughs> Words on a flag. Zero. Thank you. I'll take that. If you violated this rule, I hope you hid those words in a design because you will be marked down. And there is one thing you were absolutely forbidden from writing because a flag is not a name tag. If you wrote your name on your flag, your flag fails as a flag. No <laughs> exceptions. All right, let's just get a quick look and see how everybody did. Hold up your flags, please. <laughs> All right. Because you're also internet to keep your attention, you're getting put on a tier list from S to F. S for super, F for you guessed it, you failed. And I can see that so many of you did already. The <gasps> F tier is going to be absolutely bursting. So we're going to break it down into a tier list inside a tier this list. This is what I was F talking about. A tier list within a tier list, because it's all F tier. To F for the F tier. All right, let's just get the worst out of the way. Kansas, Montana, Wisconsin, Oregon, that's you. I'm sorry, <laughs> get up here. You guys and so many of your classmates went with this basic template, seal on blue, that all you- That is, I, I have never really thought about our American state flags, but they're all the same color of blue. They're <laughs> Bells, by copying each other, have each made each other so much worse in the distinct at a distance department. And you four, you started with seals in the center, which is already subpar, but signing that seal so much sorrier. And Montana, this F -F. turning, my eyes can only take so much. Wisconsin, unironic. Oh shit, okay, hold up right- Oh shit, the spacing between the letters is cursed? Montana, this kerning. No, <laughs> oh, dude, that is rough. 
My eyes can only take so much. Wisconsin, unironically, a cheese-based flag would have been better. Do that. And, oh, an objection from Oregon. You have a different design on the back? And this is so much better. I'm gonna give it a pass. You should... Wait, Oregon literally has two state flags? There's a diff... Wait, there's a, there's a flip site and a... This, I guess, only fills the category of a kid needs to be able to draw it. It has two sides to the flag? Oh, it has a B site, the beaver site. But the color works well here, yeah. You just ditch the front of your flag and be all in on the beaver. Hey, I wouldn't be laughing, California. It's your turn up here now. And I know you think your flag is awesome, but you seem to have scrawled California across it. And don't think bragging about the Republic is going to help your grade. I know all about that phase as an independent country that lasted, what was it again? Oh right, barely three weeks. Rather a shorter time than some. <laughs> Wait, California used to be a Republic for three weeks and they still have that on their flag? Oh man. I can barely believe it. Um, other just... nation states I could mention. And about your bear, look at him. Really look, California. <laughs> That's a scared bear. Why did you draw him that way? This is A tier, but F tier. Hey, are you crying? There's no crying in flag design. There's just doing better, which you easily can. Next, Dakota sisters, you're up, and you've both written <laughs> your name, so instant fail. But North Your Seal is at least better drawn, so... But there's no people that live in North Dakota anyways, right? So I think we're good. Here, F tier, and South, you've picked a brighter blue, which is a bit distinct, so I'll put you on tier with your sister. But wait, did you write your name on the flag twice? <laughs> F tier twice then. But suggestion, Dakota. You both obviously like this spiky design element, so maybe you could do a cool north-south sister states thing with that. You know, bring some of that... See, that's a good flag. That is cute. I like... See, that's nice. Look at someone that lived in North Dakota. I can confirm nobody lives in North Dakota. Yeah, that's dope right there. That's really cool. Greenland, Antarctica. Uh, this YouTube channel is called CGP Grey. It is one of my all-time favorites. I think it's excellent. He uploads very sporadically, so it's just every once in a while there's a new video. Um, but they're all excellent. Antarctica energy to the states. Sorry. North-South sister states thing with that. You know, bring some of that Greenland Antarctica energy to the states. Now, all of you listen up. Today is not the final day of your judgment. Better is always an option. Take Miss Mississippi. She started with this flag, but recently felt it didn't fit her, and so transitioned to this one. Yes, she added words, which I will mark her down for, but they're hidden as hidden words can be. Then That's she cute. put her favorite flower in the center, which is a bit too complicated for my liking. But you know what? This flag symbolically says Miss Magnolia, Mississippi. Exactly what a flag needs to do. Solid C. And let her serve as a model of achievable improvement for everyone who fails. So to how play. does it even work if you want to update your flag? Is there some sort of system in place? Like say the country or the state you live in is like, yo, we don't like our flag. We want to update it. Because most of them have been around for, well, hundreds of years, right? I feel like this is a process that we, uh, it's state government. Is there, is there like a country that has recently changed their flag? Like a first world country that's changed it at some point? It has to be quite complex. Yeah, but just ditching the old one is definitely not going to happen. New Zealand tried? Oh, they had a vote on it? Yeah, I saw France sneakily change the color. Yeah. France apparently changed the color over the last decade or so. So the top section of this picture is the old flag. The bottom section is the new flag. The old one looks way worse. The new one looks way better. This is a way nicer color. I don't even know why. But it looks way nicer. You're, win you're waiting for Windows 12? They'll probably not. No, no, no. They'll, they'll probably go straight to Windows 15 or whatever. Seriously, like, do you think they're gonna do a Windows 12? I don't think so. I think they'll, yeah, they'll sooner go Windows 20 than Windows 12. I think they'll skip the 12. Windows X? Yeah, Windows Series X. Windows 12 is in development? Is it really? That's just the, 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 you know, the work in progress name. Windows 1. <laughs> yeah. Windows 1 is actually not a, a name that people would be surprised by. Well, they'll just, they'll just call it Windows again. Like, it'll just be Windows. That's the whole name. What's new in Windows 12? While when Microsoft hasn't officially announced Windows 12, we recently got an early look at a prototype. Wait, the CEO showed it off? For real? Oh my god. That thing at the top of the screen? Wait! They made what macOS has had since... Well, 
OS X or whatever they called it back then. They also have curved borders as like in, in a dock. This is what Mac has as well. Now it's just full width. I mean, to be fair, they changed a lot though. Uh, the very first versions they've ever shared of UIs is always, it's always very different. Improvements to widgets? Nobody uses widgets. Who do, who's out there using widgets? Enhanced start menu customization? Uh, I hate everything about that. Live wallpapers? Okay. You use widgets? Unify settings and control panel? Okay, that's actually pretty hype. It's gonna be very annoying for the sysadmins in the chat, but uh, for everybody else. Snap layout, but editable? Right, I use fancy zones for that already. Fancy zones is great. Easier to uninstall apps. Back in my day, we used to call them programs. We'll see, guys. Good old, good old Windows. It's not like people are gonna switch away from Windows anyways. Nah, calling programs apps is cursed. It is a little cursed, isn't it? Like, it, in a weird way, I don't cons Like, the calculator app. I'm okay with that, right? Using the calculator app on your Windows. But calling StarCraft 2 an app? Or Photoshop? Like, there is a difference. Calling Photoshop an app is already very cringe. Yeah. Oh my god, that's true. They're gonna rename program files to X or... Oh my god. App files? If they rename program files to app files, that would be so funny, but... Also a little painful. Every bit of old software is instantly gonna break. They're all applications, I get that. But... Yeah, yeah, everything that's not... Wait, app data already exists? Really? Windows 11 has app data rather than program files? Or like, they have app files rather than... Yeah, app data is something else. Yeah, no, app data is not the same as, as program files though. They've had that for a long time. You know what would be really nice? If game developers would actually be using the My Games folder that's in documents, you know? Rather than coming up with their own names. That would be really nice. That would be so sweet. The documents folder just has a whole bunch of different folders in it. Everybody's got their own stuff. Some some games put their stuff in my games, but... Yeah, it's just... A lot of them don't use it, no. Technically, you can move them loco. I know, but... I don't want to do that. This is from the Windows 12 prototype? Why is the search bar so big? Why why is the whole bar search? There's another search bar up there too, though. I, I do already sort of hate this, I'll be honest with you. I also don't like the recommended. Maybe I'm wrong, but like, recommended, really? I turn all of that stuff off on my phone as well. I don't like that. Um, when the, the software is trying to predict what I'm most likely going to be using next, for some reason, I'm not a fan. Even if it would be good, I still wouldn't like it. Like, it's sort of like an, yeah, exactly. It's like an ad in your start menu. It kind of feels like it. I'm not a fan, but... I mean, I think you, you can turn this off in Windows 11, right? It would probably recommend your hidden porn folder. I mean, I wouldn't mind that, but it's just kind of silly. <laughs> if it just recommends six different types, though, then it gets a little spicy. Yeah, if it gives you quick access to six different folders right away, that's a little... Uh, what is this? What did you just link? What am I looking at? This is OS X in, like, 2007. Red Star OS? North Korean Linux distribution? Wait, this is the current version? Oh my god, I've never seen this before. Red Star OS features a modified Mozilla Firefox called Nenara, My Country in Korea, or in Korean, which is used for browsing the Nenara web portal. Other software includes a text editor, an office suite, an email client, audio and video players, file sharing software, and video games. So wait. <laughs> <laughs> this is the 1.0 edition, which definitely is not Windows XP. And this is the 3.0 edition, which is definitely not macOS. Interesting. It's about a decade behind in, in UI, but latest release is 4.0. That's wild, man. Yo, if this is actually what Windows 12 currently looks like in its prototype, that is wild. That is basically macOS. This is exactly what macOS looks like. It just has a finder thing in the top left, and this one, I guess, has a start menu over here, but, like, this is it. Well, I, I personally do like macOS, but I know that is a dangerous thing to say on the internet. You always wanted macOS without Apple? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, there you go, dude. Maybe Windows 12 will be what you're looking for.
macOS without Apple. <clears throat> I casted a series between Bjorn and Maru, and they once again were chatting at the start of it. Game one, I'm serious, did you eat? Nah, what did you eat? Water? Are you a hippo? Does smell good? My eyes are itchy? Rub it, rubbing it, good job. I'm a bit busy in this match, sorry, careful, okay. Okay, good boy, I am, nice, I know, f*** you. We're going to have it so that whoever stops chatting is going to lose, good luck. Why the middle finger? The protector? What? I can't remember. What is it? Somebody easy to pick on? Search it right now. Bjorn, yes. Ah, I was talking. Lol, bye. That's not nice. Why are mine the only ones disappearing? F*** you. <laughs> ha. Easy read. Just like a book. How was I? Heh. Praise me. Well done. Great job. Thanks. I want to beat you up. Lol. Good job. So good. So sweet. How sweet. Hey, bright moon. What the f***? Go away. That's scary. Thanks. It's hard to chat because of my shoulder. That's what I'm aiming for. I made a mistake just now. I thought so. So today chatting? No chatting. Heh. It's hard to play. You're super pissed. Why would I be pissed? I don't get pissed. Okay, I have no idea to confirm any of these translations, but I am gonna assume. Yeah, they sound like Chet GPT. They really do. <laughs> it's just the Korean language is a little different. Warfield is done. Another Gorgon. General, let's try something else like more siege tanks. The Zerg can spread out in the bone trench. We have flooded the tunnel, so no night is where we'll pop it. Uh, it will be much easier to defend than with a gigantic unwieldy ship. Another Gorgon. You're throwing out thousands of lives and tens of thousands of hours of hard labor, amounts of precious resources for a tactic that the Zork has a clear counter for, sir. Send another Gorg. Another Gorgon. Warfield. Yeah, Warfield is kind of dumb. Yeah, no. He is, uh... For a general, right? For a master tactician and all that? Uh, yeah, no. Not very good. Not very good. You missed the chopper shows? Yeah, this was actually really fun. They had these on uh, the Dutch Discovery Channel too. American Chopper is what it was called. These guys were really fun. I uh, I watched this a very long time ago though. Like 15 years ago? I don't know when they stopped making that show, but... I wonder what these guys do these days. So wait, what about the doorknob versus door handle? Just so we're all on the same page. When you're talking about a doorknob, you're talking about this thing on the right, no? So these are the norm with internal doors in the States? Rather than these? I don't think anybody has doorknobs that I know. I'm trying to, th like, I never thought about this, but... Yeah, but you gotta twist those? I've seen them in the past, but I don't think I know people that have them internally in the Netherlands. I don't know. Knobs are better. So dogs, I guess, can open these, fair enough, but... I've had dogs for most of my life, and they never open doors. So, these are more of a business setting? So, in like, office buildings, these would be the norm? Maybe this is the problem with Rushy, man. Yeah, Rushy couldn't figure out how to open my front door. He had, he had a hard time. Maybe that's the issue. The only reason handles are worse is for jeans? For jeans? What are you doing, mate? For jeans? I don't understand. What? You have a little thingy you press? That's kinda cute. There's a little little thumb presser thingy? Never seen this. In my life. It's a trigger latch handle? Really? This is a rich person door? Yeah, that's why half of Twitch Jet has it, Barnacle. I, I don't think I've ever seen this in my life. This is fascinating. That handle is $20 at Home Depot? I have never seen this. I think this is probably an American thing. We also don't have Home Depot for what it's worth. Have you seen these way, man? As a fellow Dutchman, I need your input. Am I just... Do I just not leave the house often enough? You've never seen this? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if I'm a shut-in or like what's going on right now, but... Door handle? Door knob. Handle gang! Handle gang, let's go! 
You have both? How do you have both? How does that work? You have both? Door handle gang coming in hot! It depends on the shape, Loco. Well, that's what we're trying to figure out right now. You have both? Okay, I didn't consider that, you know. F you handle users. <laughs> this is kind of like floor gang versus, what was it, ceiling gang? You have a door with a handle on the one side and a knot on the other? Yo, j out there with the fanciest of doors. Alright, door handle gang! Let's go, man. The average loco chat user is rich. This has nothing to do with money. This has nothing to do with money. Apparently it's a cultural thing. I didn't realize it, but um... <laughs> no, no. I hate everything about that picture. Please do not send that to me ever again. You have sliding doors on the inside? Okay. Yeah, I'm not cool enough for sliding doors either. Chat! It's time! I am wearing my pink hat for the occasion! Let's go, dude! When Loco first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if he'd fit with our community. But from this day forward, Loco is going to be as much a part of this town as any of us. It is my great honor of this day three of summer to unite Loco and Penny in the bonds of marriage. Let's get right to it. I agree, Lewis. Let's get right to it. Loco, Penny, as the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Close your eyes, Chet. Look, that's all the birds. All the doves. Yo, Marnie. Marnie's enjoying it. Life is going to be different from now on. But the future looks bright! Hey, Penny, what's up? Hello? What are we doing? Okay, enough of that! Back to work! I work on my wedding day, okay? No, no, guys, farmers can't go on a honeymoon, man. Man, you guys have such disrespect for where your food comes from. I can't believe it. We've had one wife, yes. What? Are, no, I'm playing modless, so there's no mods here. I, I'm not playing with the uh, the different mods that you have available for the game. You can still have girlfriends? Really? Interesting. I actually didn't realize that was a thing. There's a cutscene if you date all the girls in the game. Oh, sounds like I need more diamonds, guys. I am but a diamond. Cruising through this league. I can date Sebastian and Sam. Yeah, we can we can just we can just date everybody. Redfall also apologized? Oh no. Oh my god, this is the exact same photograph I've seen earlier this week. We're aware that Redfall isn't performing to our standards. Wait, is this real? Because this is not tweeted by no 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 no. This is not tweeted by the same company. Nah, no, 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 this is someone just trying to get some bait over here. I see how it is. Anyways. Yeah, that game is also performing incredibly well. AAA Studios, man. Bethesda and EA in particular, they're absolutely killing it. And with killing it, I mean their loyal customer base. Which already was pretty small to begin with, but... PC optimization is hard though. So many device combos these days. That's always been the case, Mono. So here's a little example of what um, Redfall is currently like, okay? So this is a new game by Bethesda that just released a couple days ago that a lot of people were excited for, okay? Sure, there's a lot of PC configurations, but look at this. I can do this forever. I don't think that's supposed to behave like this. That's a vampire. I think that's an, uh, an enemy in the game. Any good memes? The StarCraft 20th anniversary coin? Ooh, I have one of those! So I have a few of these coins. Does anyone know where it came from? Was it BlizzCon? eBay lists PAX East? No, 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 no. I have one. I've never been to PAX East. I think it's from BlizzCon. I'd pay pig- wait. I've had f- what?! Wardy says I've had $350 ordered for one- 
offered for one of those. It's one of the rarest Blizzard coins. What the? I swear to God, I have one. This one is real money right here. I got my rank roulette golden medal from, from Hearthstone. By the way, I have never received a trophy for winning the third season. Hello. What's this? I swear I have one though. Oh my God. It was just yeeted in a box. I, I, yeah, I have one right here. Wait, these are worth that much money? Hello? That's it, no? 20 year anniversary StarCraft? That's the same coin, right? Okay. I came across this one just now too. This one's also really cool. I don't know why I have this. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Battle Royale, player unknowns battlegrounds. Dude, I am rich right here. I had no idea. I also have an ESL coin. But I think this is from the most recent cut of Vitsa. They actually started doing these at, at, at tournaments and stuff some time ago. Which is really cool. This one comes in like a little... A little pouch as well. Cool, right? 20 year anniversary, 1998 to 2010. No, you just can't read, Rambo. That's okay. I have another one. This one's still sealed, guys. That must mean it's worth a lot of money, no? I don't know how this works. BlizzCon 2018 community pin? Dude. Sealed is where it's at. I also have this. Also sealed, man. Only 400 bucks, it's yours. <laughs> it's like a, like a can opener. I don't know, with a StarCraft logo on it? I, I don't know. I have no idea why anybody would buy that for 350 bucks though. That's insane. Guys, don't buy these for 350 bucks. It is one of the rarest Blizzard coins you can find because this version would only send out to a select few people. Mate, I had no idea. Yeah, Wardy's holding out for at least a thousand dollars, man. He's not, he's not cheap. Wardy's thinking in Pokemon cards. How many packs of Pokemon cards can you buy for 350 bucks? Eh, not enough. I'm sitting on a gold mine, bro. I had no idea. I don't know why anybody would buy it for that much, but fair enough. I actually haven't been on the Battle.net farms in a while. Shall we take a little field trip? Okay. General discussion. Rip Zerk equals dead. Does anyone find it weird? This is the first thing I see. That Zerk's representation trend inverts inside of Grandmaster. This has to be the most Terran favorite map pool I've ever seen. How is Zerk doing in the ESL Cup? I love I love how people cherry pick their 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 results, right? Like that's always what kind of gets me. So this is obviously a, a post about Zerk being underpowered. But none of the top Zergs, other than Dark, play the ESL Open Cup. So, like, this is what, you know, this is what they come up with, right? This is how they, they get it. But, like, none of the top level Zergs play the weekly cups. What about Grandmaster Ladder win rates? What about the win rates at the pro scene? Solar, I guess, plays as well, yeah. This guy brings out math. In case you're wondering what these win ratios equate in MMR terms. Zerg gets minus 178. Terran gets... <laughs> Bro! The thing about these discussions, right? You see these discussions going on with basically anything, right? Be it politics, be it whatever, right? And if you're not familiar with how things work, this may seem like a convincing argument. But if Serral were to play in every weekly cup, these stats would look entirely different. And that's just a single person making the difference. Has Serral retired? No, Serral just doesn't bother playing $200 tournaments. You gotta give at least a grant for Serral to show up every once in a while, okay? <laughs> Serral could dominate every single one of these, but he doesn't because he can't be bought. So yeah, I, it's just uh, cherry picking results and then also posting under a barcode nickname. Should I just give up? Feels like I will always just be a 4v4. What does this mean? Does anybody know what this means? My tactics fail miserably in 1v1. I get pwned by reapers, widow mines, roaches, etc. Just keep getting obliterated. Random team? What does NAB stand for? Oh, just noob? This is a skill issue, iFart. I hate to break it out. Uh, I hate to break it down for you like that, man, but... I feel like iFart is the kind of guy who's making Void Rays in the corner of the map while playing Phil Free Force, which is fine. It's a fine way to play the game, but it's not gonna do it very well in uh, one versus one. Monthly reminder that spreading creep is more micro than Terran Toss have to do the <laughs> entire game? What the f***? I think spreading creep is not micro, okay? Spreading creep is definitely macro. 
I actually do believe that sp spreading creep is overpowered. I think creep spread is too strong in this game. They can't really change it anymore, but the amount of value creep spread provides is absolutely absurd. There's no way that we're ever going to see that again in another RTS game. Because it's just too much. Anyways, have you considered that you might be going doing it wrong? I'll check your answer in a month. <laughs> Do something about cannon rushing. It's not that difficult to deal with, but spending 70 to 80% of your time facing a cannon rush isn't fun. Require a cybernetics core to build a cannon? There is no protos built that this simple change would alter except cannon rush? I guess that's true. It's pretty fun for the protos players though. Yeah, I think the protos players are enjoying it quite a bit. Game hasn't changed except for a few new commanders in 23 years. <laughs> Uh. Thank you, Alice. Hail the mighty barcode. True. I started with StarCraft 1 and got StarCraft 2 when it first came out. The developers seem to be able to generate items for sale, but don't seem to have the technical ability to make some new co-op challenges. Okay. I don't think there were co-op challenges in 23 years, but... Or, or 23 years ago, but... What Zerk needs? <laughs> Queen anti-air is so low, it needs to be buffed. Right now they can push off pokes if lucky, but can't punish because they don't do enough damage. Banes need more HP, better macro script when burrowed. Overlord speed increase and drops need to be faster. Banes are the most supply efficient unit in all of StarCraft though, man. Like genuinely, there's... I would actually say that the Queens, Banes and I'm probably Zerklings are the best unit Zerk has. Corruptors need to cost less. The fact that you need five corruptors just to kill one BC or carrier is absolute BS. It's not that they're bad. It is the fact that for that you're paying almost double the cost to kill off one unit. Same goes for the defense structures. Cannons cost a hundred apiece. Yeah, Blizzard, I don't want to improve my skill. Can you improve my units instead? Yeah, that's exactly what it is, JP. Okay, so first off, right? The fact that you're paying almost double the cost to kill off one unit is insane. It's an asymmetrically balanced game, right? So you're never gonna get the exact same cost. But what this guy is forgetting is that you need to make the starport, you need to make the tech lab, and you need to make the supply depot too, in order to make one battle cruiser. Like the battle cruiser supply depot count is quite significant. Same goes for defense structure. Cannons cost 100 apiece. They're 150 apiece. And it shoots both air and ground, yet for a Zerg to have the equivalent, we have to spend 175 on a Spine and Spore, and then an additional 200 just for the workers to build it? And loss of mining time from the workers. Yeah, this guy is making uh, the W Knighthood not look very good, White Knight in the chat. That's a total of 375 minerals. Quick math. It kind of, like... <sighs> the forums kind of read similarly to clicking on like a random political tweet on Twitter and reading some of the reactions and some of the responses. Like it reads very similarly to the point where you're like just wondering if these are really the people that live in the same country that you live in as well, right? Like I clicked on a political tweet. Actually, it wasn't even a political tweet. It was a tweet from the Dutch royal family, right? They have a, they have a Twitter account. They just share pictures and stuff and uh, update every once in a while. It's kind of neat, right? Mate, you look at the reactions to some of those tweets and it's just embarrassing. You just see the same thing for every poll. It, yeah, people just make it up, man. People just make it up and then post it in a convincing manner. And then, you know, a lot of people believe it to be true. But people do the same on the forums now. They just, they just say things that are factually incorrect. But a lot of people don't know, you know, the details of the game. So you, like... It, this is, I think you should probably keep this in mind, man. Whenever you read any political response anywhere on the internet and people are talking about a subject that you don't know all the finer details about, just think back of the StarCraft II Battle.net forums and you're like, what the f***? These people are just saying things. They're just saying words that, you know, sound good in that order, but it makes no sense. <laughs> the community curated patch is community cheese. Right from the get-go, the patch has destroyed a lot of the early game cheese. It's destroyed a lot of the variety. I can't even read it. Is Zerk underpowered? According to a league... <laughs> okay. PVZ has a win rate of around 57% for Protals. 
and around a 51 to 52% win rate for Terran in Terran versus Zerg. In other words, Zerg players are losing more than the other races. T-Bone, man. Do you think Zerg is underpowered, or do you think Zerg just has to figure it out? What works for this patch? Look of fair trade, I'll play old school RuneScape if you play Final Fantasy XIV. I heard Final Fantasy XIV is really fun. Can you play Final Fantasy XIV though without being a weeb? Because I don't know if I want to be a weeb, you know? What other races you can play in Final Fantasy XIV? I need to see pictures. Windowscentral.com. Is this good? Let's see. The higher. This is lame. It's a human. Midlander. Okay, this one is already a little bit more uwu. That's for sure. A Highlander? Okay, it's kind of like a Templar, but then high. Elysian. Lame. Wildwood. <laughs> okay. Dusk White? Mikote? Seekers of the Sun. Oh, these are cat ears. Keepers of the Moon. Lala fell. The smallest of the races? Are these like the gnomes? Plains folk? They look like kids, dude. Can you play one that doesn't look like a kid? The dunes folk? Sea wolves. Hellguard. Aura. You can make them with a beard? Okay. Ah, this is probably the most popular race, isn't it? I've got a feeling this is like the blood elf of Final Fantasy XIV. I haven't even seen them all yet. Xela? Oh, never mind. What about these guys? The Vira? Vira? Okay, I see. Yeah, no, I see. I see how it is. Rava? Vina? Hellions? Do they shoot flames? The Lost? Dude, there's a lot. I kind of like the Lalafell. Lalafell seems kind of sick. It's a degenerate game, Loco. What? Are you calling my viewers degenerates? I mean, you'd be right, but like... We have everything from uwu girls to furries? Yeah, man. Nothing against that at all. I, I've never played Final Fantasy XIV. From what I understand, the single player experience is actually really fun. And apparently the actual questing and storyline is actually interesting. I have seen a video on YouTube about degenerates in F Final Fantasy XIV, yeah. It was basically the Final Fantasy XIV edition of Goldshire on an RP realm in World of Warcraft. I don't think that really displays the average experience of World of Warcraft, and I don't think it really explained the average experience of Final Fantasy XIV either. You picked the cat girl race? Nice. Paladins in, uh, in Goldshire on the role-playing realms casting holy protection. Like, all right, all right. That's enough. That's enough World of Warcraft for today.